<clears throat> we back, y'all. We back. We back, y'all. We got us a fresh. We back, y'all. I told y'all I'm kicking it with the guys today. And I'm on my website later. I actually supposed to be on my website at 3. We pushing that shit back to 6 or 9 because I'm doing this right now. Hold on. I'm building with the guys who ain't on the website. And the guys who are on the website. All right, y'all. We back. We back. So look, right. Let me start all the way over because I didn't want to go into the story and they hit me with a minute 59. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I was making an example, right, of how, here, bud. Boy, that's the same kick by my roll from the first live, y'all. That bitch just lasted two hours. Y'all see that? That's the same palm I rolled. See? Shout out to 187. Say, from and raised in Rogers Park. Yeah, let me penny. Bing, real quick. We on GNN, y'all. I just ain't titled it, but y'all know we still on GNN. So look, right? Somebody just said, from and raised in Rogers Park, Chicago. God not lying, our merch. See what I'm saying? Now, we up, we talking about up north. So I was already giving an example of us being tied to this tree, y'all. And them like giving us they all, but we still here. And I say, you got to understand the fear that that puts in the elites when they have went out their way to attack a certain group of people and killing us, killing us, killing us. I mean, even all the medication they give us, even the over-the-counter shit, the Tylenol, all that shit hurt us down over the, like, down the, down the road, y'all. Every little thing, y'all, the, from the food they feed us to the water they put in our bottles, nigga, to the STDs they created, to the to the over-the-counter medications, the Motrins, the aspirins, the, and we ought to took this shit at least once in our life. You feel me? I'm, I'm getting y'all to think on the level of this war, right? They done threw so much at us. The noodles got sold, everything. It ain't nothing around you. The way the house is built, architect, from the cloth that you have to wear, which hurts your electricity. Nigga, clothes hurt you. You're not supposed to have cloth on. You are electrical. Being. You see what I'm saying? Everything they concocted for us was to hurt and to kill us, y'all. Now, I was giving an example. I want to give y'all a story of how that put more fear in a person. So that's where we was at. Okay, so you got a side of Chicago, right? It's called Boys Town. You feel me? And this is where the homosexual community, like, they, this, they shit. And then you got Wrigleyville. This is where the Cubs play. But you got diehard Cubs fans up there. And Wrigleyville is right next to Boys Town. They really together, nigga. That's the, nigga, that's the same thing. You hear me? And you got, you got some of the guys up there. You feel me? Like, literally, one day, we was coming from, we was coming from fucking with some of the guys up there. You feel me? Like, no lie, I'm like 17. This is my game banging days, you know what I'm saying? So we went up, you know, we went up there, fuck with folks and them, help folks and them whoop some niggas, because folks and them coming out of our block, 1100, help us whoop niggas. So, you know what I'm saying? We went up there, got into a gang fight, we on our way back, you know what I'm saying? So we like, shit, we, we had parked our cars, though, down the street, you feel me? So, it's me and like, I'm talking about, it's like 11 of us. We deep as fuck. Like, we came from my hood, kind of deep to help folks and them, because we fuck with folks and them and folks and them fuck with us. So, you know what I'm saying? We, so boom, it's over with. We walking back to the car. But man, you, it's nighttime. So if anybody ever been through Boys Town in Chicago, you know, it's no different than Atlanta, man. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Atlanta, I ain't gonna lie. Atlanta, Midtown, y'all, y'all, y'all more flamboyant. But, nah, y'all ain't, y'all don't be game banging. Like, you can go through Midtown, Atlanta, like, no lie. Down here in Atlanta, boy, if you went to transsexuals, then that's what you into. Then they'll be on you. If you into homosexuals, that's what you're into. They'll be on you. If you're a lesbian, you because I got hella friends. That's, and my most of my lesbian friends, they not even like lesbian. They like the studs. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my homie Nin. You feel me? But like if you into if you into that, you're going to be into that down here in Atlanta. Like whatever you into, you into it because you into it. You feel me? And now if you go down there and fuck with them folks, yeah, they're going to beat your ass. But I'm talking about in Chicago, no. They be gang banging, boy. Listen, I grew up in this shit. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, I grew up in this shit. You feel? I grew up in this shit, man. <laughs> Look, on some real life shit, the homosexuals in Chicago, they be on some bullshit, G. They thug you. You see what I'm saying? Because up there, nigga, they'll they shoot they shot at you, nigga. 
They shoot. They shot at you in Chicago, in Boys Town, nigga. They shooting, nigga. They shooting. They shooting. They shot, nigga. And they want you to get on some. I wish you would get on some. Man, you better shut your gay ass up talking to me. What, nigga? That's all they waiting for up there, boy. Beat the shit out you up there. You hear me? They waiting for you, boy. In Chicago, Boys Town, they want you to get out, boy. They protect they shit with an iron fist, boy. On my soul, to the point where niggas don't even be going through there. Like niggas don't, nigga don't even go through that. Like, like we did that at some seventeen, and it ended that day. I ain't been through Boys Town since that day, and when I did go back through, we was just we kept riding. I ain't getting out. I ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to tell you, they stuck. And see, and the news, oh, see, that's why we on GNN. We cover everything on GNN, y'all, cause CNN ain't gonna tell it all. No, CNN, y'all try to make Chicago like we ain't shit with some gang bangers, and that's kind of fucked up though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't want to yell. We ain't now that we we more than that. You feel me? And then if y'all is gonna cover the violence because y'all pushing an agenda, y'all don't cover how violent they get in, in, in Boys Town about this homosexuality. They take some shit up there. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that's just as real as it can get. I can't get no realer. If the truth must be told, I don't know who's scared to admit it. But nigga, they be gang banging up in Boys Town, Chicago about that homosexuality, nigga. They they thug and nigga, they might as well be out there with fitted hats cops. With they might as well have fitted hats with the rainbow flag with the bitches cop, nigga. Cause they on all that type of time, nigga. They coming at you, little daddy, what's up? Nigga, how you supposed to respond? And look, I used to ride the train. So I, my sister stayed up north. We on like like I used to be up north fucking with folks in them on Lawrence and all that. I used to be on the dub fucking with folks. I used to be up north, G. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I used to be up there. My sister and them stayed up there. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I used to have to hop on the red line, nigga. What are you talking about, boy? You get off the train, boy. They'll try your ass. They will try you, boy. As soon as you get on some man, who the fuck is, man? I don't even come, you know, that little daddy shit. Yeah, nigga, what's up? That's what I was waiting on. Because, see, they'll be on the side, and I'm talking about 6'5". You hear me? 6'5", 328 and a quarter. You hear me? They out, and it's about nine of them, nigga. They out. Show. Strong shoulders ain't none of that. But as soon as they say, hey, little, hey, little daddy. Nigga, well, how you supposed to respond? Nigga, a real nigga gonna respond on some real nigga shit like, hey, fam. Hey, <laughs> nigga, that nigga, hey, fam. Y'all know me. This has been me my whole life. I done got my ass whooped a lot growing up. I, I don't know if y'all missed that side. Nigga, I done been jumped. I done got my, hell yeah, niggas. I'm gonna speak my mind. Y'all gotta whoop my ass out here, nigga. You hear me, nigga? Y'all gonna have to whip my ass out. I done got jumped by their ass before up north, nigga. I already know how they coming. You see what I'm saying? I know how they coming. You hear me? Motherfucker try me like that one day. I'm getting off the train. I'm, nigga. Nah, matter of fact, they got on the train. Cause nigga, you know, I got on on Howard. I'm on my way back to the block. I'm getting on. I'm getting on on Howard. I'm getting off at the Division Red stop. I'm basically from the Cabrini Green area. So I done grew up in the row houses and them buildings. And I'm from 1100. That's all the area. So that's the vision. That's the vision and noble. You know what I'm saying? Muffin from the projects got to come to I City Sports, nigga. You hear me, nigga? That's that's all the area, nigga. I went to Matadors boxing, nigga. We used to box Sewell Park, Mr. Sears, nigga. We at Sewell Park hooping every day, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the area, nigga. That's the block. I'm getting right off at the vision, nigga. And I'm waiting on the bus. I'm going across the street. I'm getting me. I'm getting me something out of out of Red Hots right there. Give me some red. Bop, bop, boom. Get right across the street. Wait on the bus. Boom. Hop on the bus. I might get off at motherfucking division in Houston if I see folks in there from the O out there or folks in there from the one four that I fuck with or folks in there from the Berlin. I'm getting off at division in Houston. I'm belling out. What up, folks? Now I'm chilling out with the guys and walk back over the bridge to the square. That's how it was. So, boom. That was my route. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm getting I'm on high. Boy, they get on. Boy, they get on the train and like, what's that? Thorndale or some shit. Some shit. They get on like right there, nigga. So, when they get on, they turn. They turned the whole train ride. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. It's different in Chicago. Like, in Atlanta, they flamboyant. And I guess because down here, they got a lot of money. They rich as fuck. They ain't got no time for that shit unless you on some shit with them. They'll get on that. It's different. Nigga, they get on the train, nigga. So, you know, they on the train. So, you know, they ain't got no money. Nigga, they on the train. They they singing, um, all the pretty ladies, all the pretty ladies, all the, uh, 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 the whole ride. On some real shit that I'll never rock. They, bro, they jumped the shit out of me. It was I'll never forget it like it was yesterday, nigga. You hear me? So they get on the train. They they like, all oh, the pretty ladies. Ah, oh, they singing that shit. So I'm like, I don't say nothing, you know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling because it was packed on the train anyway. So I'm just chilling. But they like, they standing up in the doorway. I'm sitting down. So I'm in the cut. I'm like, man, let me just turn the motherfucking joint on. You know what I'm saying? Now, this this event happened in like 08. This will really stop me from going like 
through the whole area. You know what I'm saying? The first event I'm gonna tell y'all about that I know it's like I'm jumping around. I ain't told that story yet. That was when I was 17. I'm telling y'all the one right now that got me out the area all together, nigga. Like, so we on the train, real shit. Bro, we on the train, you feel me? And they get on and like think it's Thorn. I forgot. It's some stop like that. Thorn, it's been a minute since I wrote the red line. I ain't gonna lie. But they get on at one of them stops. Lawrence or some shit. Some shit. They get on. I was on the train before them though, because I got on that Howard. You see what I'm saying? Bro, they get on, they start singing. They turned up, they loud. They all loud. You know what I'm saying? We see y'all. Why is y'all so loud, folks? We already see y'all, but they, they think we don't see them, so they want to get loud and be at home. They holding their conversation loud. They talk about who 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 dick they just sucked last night, who on the low, who they finna who they finna put on blast. You know what I'm saying? They they going in, they send the nigga name and every Yeah, Todd ass off 63rd. He be over there with I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So you know, cause it's still high school motherfuckers. We on the train. This is this like 08. So I'm like, what 08? I'm like 22. So you know at 22, nigga, you still going up to the high school. We like still on that type of time, you know what I'm saying? 22, nigga, we still going up to the high schools ourselves, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, we in the streets and we going to the high school. So, at 22, I'm hopping on the train. I'm doing my thing. I'm going back. I'm on my way to the crib. Nigga, they get on singing. They get on loud talking about some nigga they fucking outside. Then they start, from there, they go into, like, all the pretty ladies. And they singing it all. It's like eight of they ass. And they singing it on harmony. Nigga, they, like, in vogue on that motherfucker. You hear me? So... And they, you know, they dancing and everything. You know how our black people do it. Like, see, when white people gay, y'all don't be gay like us because we got, like, a soul with it. So when our people gay, they be like, you know, they flamboyant. You gonna know they gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, when white people gay, it's like a, you won't even know. It's like a nice gay. Y'all, yeah, hi. Now, our people, hey, bitch, you know, I was already a nigga. I'm like, yeah, I'm gay with you on, nigga. You won't fight, nigga. I don't get no fuck, nigga. Like, it, it's different with us. It's a whole different type of gay with us. Y'all shit nice gay. Our gay is like, nigga, we'll beat your ass, we gay. What's up? It's different. It's a whole different energy. They let the world know. It ain't flamboyant, nigga. It ain't nigga. They don't give a fuck, nigga. We out here with this shit, nigga. We thugging about it. They gay. Like I say, they thugging with it. You know what I'm saying? So they get on the train on that energy. And you know me, I always had that look. Like I always got like into incidents. Like no lie. Because people, people always told me like, you looking like you tough. And honestly, y'all, this is the way I look. Like, this is my look. But, like, if I'm not laughing or smiling, I have been told a lot. Like, I got a mean look on my face. You know what I'm saying? But I don't be mad. I can't help the way I look, nigga. A lot of y'all laugh at me because I look funny to y'all, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I can't. This how I look, nigga. Everybody look how they look, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You feel me, though? So, you know, I guess they felt like I was looking at them or something. Like, but I wasn't even thinking about their ass. I mean, I was thinking about their ass, but I ain't say nothing to their ass. How can we not think about y'all ass? Y'all get on the train, talk about who dick y'all suck on the low. Keisha don't even know. I was fucking him in the ass last night. And da -da -da -da. and all that shit. Like, y'all could just hold that whole conversation amongst y'all. But y'all want to get on the train on some flamboyant, tough shit. They was gang bang. Like, I wish a nigga would say something about me sucking dick last night. They was looking for some shit. You know me, y'all, and I'ma talk, I'ma keep it real. I don't give a fuck how many y'all it is. So I'm chilling. You know, I'm nigga fucking with me. Hey, little daddy. Just out the blue. But but at the whole time you singing pretty ladies. Now the other ones wasn't on that, but one of them on the pretty ladies and say you wanna look at me while he's singing it. So I'm trying to steady look out the window at, at shit going past. But every time I look back, you know, when you on the train, I'm like this. So I'm like, oh, he's looking at me. I'm like. You know, shit going past, you know what I'm saying? I try to look back. Oh, motherfucker still looking at me. I'm trying to look this way. I'm like, come on, man. I ain't finna not look ahead because the motherfucker want to keep singing a song. You know, trying to make eye contact with me. Like, whatever you got going, I ain't knocking you live your life. But don't don't try to lock in with me like that. This is like 2008. You say you're trying to lock. You know when a motherfucker try to lock in with you. You know what I'm saying? Try to lock in with me. So I'm like, now nah, I'm looking around. Say, I'm like, man, listen, I ain't no bitch. I ain't finna not look straight. And there we go. I look straight. And now we didn't lock in. And now I'm like, come on, bro. And I just said it to myself. I just said it to myself. Here we go. Hold on, y'all. Uh-uh, hold. Uh-uh, 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 hold on, y'all. Now you bitch. Bitch. Hold on. Because they were still harmonizing. You know, I told them they was looking for some trouble anyway when they got on the train. You feel me? So, and they go, look, going to quiet everybody down. 
Thank you could have let them stay loud. Just to say this to me, y'all. Hey, little daddy in the back with the waves looking out the window. I see you. Hey, little daddy. Just like that. Boy. Nigga, what? Nigga, I stood up so quick. You had me fucked up, nigga. Nigga, on GD, don't ever come me like that again. There it go. There it go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's all they was waiting for. Boy, they, boy, they marched up quick. Like, the first one came up like, what you say? I would. He tried to, he tried to like, but you know, it wasn't a dot. Because he, you know, they feminine with it. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't a dot. It was more like a, you know, more like he politely tried to like, I felt like a motherfucker tried to massage my shit or something. You wasn't trying to be aggressive because it was too smooth. You know, it was like a, don't be trying to get loud. Nigga, I uppercut his ass quick so before he could finish I you hear me he fall back on them nigga they catch his ass you they catch his ass like this he Ugh. you hear me they drop but then look once they win it's like they like ah Shawanda he ain't never just that Shawanda like that and then they just dropped him and I just seen a bunch of they just charged me I mean I was swinging but Man, they would beat my ass. Nigga, boy, I get off the train, nigga, by the time I got, boy, boy, when I got to the hood, nigga, I had a whole knot on my shit. Nigga, my shit was like that for a couple days, too, you hear me? Nigga, my tooth got chipped on the real, nigga, that's how this tooth got like that. On the real, boy, scrapping with they big ass on the, on the motherfucking train and shit on the red line. But I was throwing them bitches, too. I was, I was catching they ass, though. But they was catching me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, they fucked me up on the train, nigga. But on my mama, I ain't going like no bitch, though. Niggas was bleeding, a few of they ass bleeding, too. But, boy, I was fucked up. Like, nigga, this trip, this 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 tooth still chipped. Like, I just showed y'all last, nigga. Nigga, and my, uh, nigga, and this shit was swole. You hear me? Boy, now, I felt that. That ain't gonna lie, boy. That wasn't like no, oh, you know, that wasn't nothing, you know what I'm saying? Nah, G. Nah, G, because if I ever see niggas again... Wherever I see them at, nigga, you know what I'm saying, niggas, but I hope they remember, nigga, because I, I do. I just never seen motherfuckers again. Like, nah, niggas got to die behind shit like that. Like, nah, nigga, you feel me? Like, because I was chilling. I'm just keeping it real. I was chilling, you feel me? And motherfuckers got on bullshit with me. See, niggas be trying to act, everybody be trying to act like perfect on the internet. I ain't never been like that. If I got my ass whooped, I got my ass whooped, you feel me? Boy, they beat my ass. And that was the second time. That was the second time. That that got me my res my respect for them. Like man, I ain't even going through there because I'ma been because y'all gonna have me going through Boys Town just on anybody that's gay. I'm on that, and then I'm gonna be looking like I'm out trying to hurt gay people, and it ain't even that. It's like literally I was jumped by a group of bully of gay people that bullied me. You know what I'm saying? They 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 tried to they try to get on that with me, and that's some real shit. And anybody from Chicago will tell you that up in Boys Town they do be trying to be on some tough shit with it. They don't be on no like that's why I pinned them. They be on some tough shit. You got to kill one of their ass because they'll try you. You know what I'm saying? Then they will jump you quick. Boy, they will jump. Boy, they will jump this. They will jump you quick. Now, that first nigga that tried to, like I say, I crunched his ass. He, eh. I guess his name was Shawanda or something. I don't know because they like, he is Shawanda. And they just charged me. You know what I'm saying? But no, nigga, whatever the Shawanda shit motherfucker tried to get on no bully shit with me. like, And they was already all big. Like, y'all big as fuck. All these big ass niggas on the train. Y'all want to call... I want to call call the, the little nigga out. You know what I'm saying? Niggas want to, all these big ass, because we was on the train deep. Niggas want to single me out. Hey, little nigga. And if I, they lucky I ain't had a pipe on me, boy, on my soul. Nigga, that shit, I would have been on the news, nigga. Eight piece, straight eight piece. You hear me? And I had just dropped the pipe off, because that's the type of shit I'm grabbing the pipe. I'm not even playing with y'all big ass like that. You feel me, lads? I'm, I don't give a fuck how feminine you think you is. Y'all still got testosterone, so I'm fighting niggas. I don't give a fuck what you associate as. I respect that. But if it got to come to some physical shit, you still got the same strength. Nah, nigga. That shit don't. Nah, nigga. And, 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 and I still respect the people. That's how I'm hell nah. I ain't got no. I got family that's. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that particular. That's how I, I know how motherfuckers get. Now, that was the second time. Now, the second time. Why I'm talking about the second time first? Because now I can tell you the first time. And you can appreciate my example of this shit that they do to us. Right? Giving us y'all. Now, I gave their ass my all and gave my ass whooped, right? So that was like, damn, that was like, you know, an understanding of things right there. Like, okay, I know if I, when I come through here, ain't no fighting. Because they ain't going to fight a nigga one-on-one. So I got to get, I got to, I got to get real gangster. I'm trying to play the odds fair, nigga. I don't mind taking an ass whooping. Long as you don't mind taking an ass whooping, nigga. 
You see what I'm saying? I ain't gonna kill you if I lose to you in a fight. Nigga, that's whole shit. What am I gonna kill you for? We just fight again if I don't like the results. Nigga, that's it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just different. You know, I'm just different. So, but, nah, I ain't going for that, nigga. I got a permanent chip tooth, nigga, fucking with they ass, nigga. And I mean that. And don't try to take this live and be like, oh, Rashad Jamal has an issue with the homosexual community. No, I don't, nigga. I'm, but them motherfuckers that jump me, you got this Shawanda, whatever the fuck your name was, nigga. Yeah, nigga. I don't give a fuck. CPD can watch the tape, nigga. You hear me? I run across any of y'all ass. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm 62. You hear me? I don't give a fuck. I bump it to your ass in the Astros, nigga. It's going down on sight, nigga. And don't be alone. You hear me? Because I know they ass going to get older, niggas. Get into it. Forget about it. I'll never forget. I hope y'all ain't forget, nigga. Y'all probably did. You doing? Because you, when you whoop a nigga ass like that, you forget that type of shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot we did whoop a motherfucker ass on the train that, that one summer. Mm-hmm. And don't try to run y'all ass down here to Atlanta in the, in the capital, nigga. Because I'm down here, nigga. Catch your ass and me. I don't give a fuck where I catch you at, nigga. Ain't know that was back then. None of that, nigga. Shit gonna get resolved around this bitch. I'm just keeping it G. Thanks, babe, for the soup, too. I seen you put it in front of me. Okay, so look, y'all. This is the first time, y'all. Now, the first time I'm 17, this, this one got me like, damn. This is what I'm saying. Giving it to y'all. We coming back from that fight in Blue City, right? And we once again walking through Boys Town. My homie, he one of the big guys. We 17, so he got to be like 26, 27. He like the OG right now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say folks' name. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we, we walking through now because he folks still be watching my lives and shit. Still my big homie. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say folks' name. Because folks, are real, he a real one, though. He a real street legend. Like, he get, he get gangsta about this shit. He one of them dudes, you know what I'm saying, on some street shit. But, you know, on some AWAC shit, he one of them AWACS niggas in the hood. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? But look, right? So we walking through. We walking through. So, boom, we coming back from the fight, y'all. We coming back from the fight. We walking to our cars. We in Chicago, Boys Town. I'm 17. The, the issue I just told y'all, I was 21. That was the second time I'm up and through fucking with the whole area. You feel me? Because other than that, I'm going in Rambo mode with the whole area. You come, If I come to Boys Town, your ass better be acting like you straight. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm going to be on that with everybody. I don't know. Other than that... To prevent all that, I just completely, even when I go back to Chicago, to this day, I ain't been through Boys Town since 2008. I stay away, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I got I got shit on my chest, you feel me? So I just stay away. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? This this when I'm 17, though. Another Boys Town incident. We coming from the fight. We walk into the cars. Now, my big homie, we walking past. I told you how they be aggressive in Boys Town. So we walking past. And, you know, they out there in front of the club. We walking past the club. So, this, them, this, us. We trying to get past. You know what I'm saying? And my homie, they don't say nothing to me, but they said to my big homie, right? Now, he like AWACS to the hood, y'all. Uh, like how AWACS was, you know, he had OG nigga put in all that work. You know, he had murders. He didn't went to jail. He one of them niggas, you know, if he with y'all here, somebody going to die. You know what I'm saying? He one of them niggas. So, he well respected on the street side. So, you know, we walking. And... <laughs> One of the, one of the, I don't know. They was like, I guess they was transgender, but they didn't look transgender. You see what I'm saying? Because the new age transgender is different than the transgender. Then, like they would, like back then, if they said they was transgender, you could still tell they was man. Nowadays, you don't fucking know. You nigga, you need to see shit right then and there. You know what I'm saying? Because they, 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 I'm telling you, they out here, they, they, they look like real. They, they got this, the money nowadays. It's the different ball game, man. It's a different ball game. You got to really be safe if you don't go on that way. But a lot of people are already going on the low anyway. A lot of people on the low is like, because no lie, I know, I, I got family. A lot of, a lot of, my, that shit is in right now. That's a, a huge trend right now. And it's a lot of y'all guys that got boyfriends and husbands that's on the low. And they just ain't going to tell y'all. A lot of them sitting here jagging off the transsexual pornography. Them ads popping up on their all that shit going on around here nowadays. That's just a fact. That's just a fact. Why you think the transgenders feel so much better than y'all? Because it ain't the homosexual man that really y'all be mad with. Y'all be mad at the transsexuals. And the transsexuals be mad at y'all. Y'all be beefing heavy. Because the transsexuals be taking all the straight man nowadays. You know? So I'm just saying. I'm just speaking what y'all are. This is GNN, nigga. I'm speaking what niggas know. Y'all know this shit going on. Y'all already know this shit is going on out here. I'm just putting shit together. So at the end of the day, I ain't make it this way. I ain't none of that, nigga. I'm just saying what's going on out here, this is GNN, not CNN. We keep it all the way real over rich in here. Okay? And the same thing, guys. A lot of y'all girlfriends and wives and mamas eating pussy on the low and like they pussy slip. And they just ain't telling y'all that. 
You ain't made her come in years, nigga. She does she give you think she had work, nigga. Yeah, she hadn't work in the office getting sauced by her best friend that always come over that you don't have a problem with coming over. You like long as I'm nigga. I'm telling you, it's real out here in the field. So <laughs> so if that's what that's that's what's funky. It's functified right here. It's, it's the brat. It's functified. It's functified out here. You hear me? So now we coming through boys, and like I say, back then the transgender, like you could tell this was a man. So he was husky with it, but he had his little dress on and his lipstick. He looked at like Wesley Snipes, and then when they was trying to be transsexuals in that old movie in the nineties, they was ugly as shit. What was that movie, baby? I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about, right? It was Wesley Snipes. I forgot the Latino, the Latin actor, and I think it was Ving Rhames in that too. Oh. Wasn't he the other? Um, it was Ving, man. Ving big ass was in there too. That's how he got on. I'm trying to tell you. Niggas in Hollywood. And I fuck with Ving. I fuck with him in Bad Boy. But, you know, Ving, Ving, you know, Ving did that thing thing. Big Ving, Ving did that thing thing. Ving, Ving Rames. <laughs> Ving Rames, that's his name. You hear me? Him, Wesley, they, they threw on the dresses. They did their thing. They did their thing. So, okay, boom. Dude was out there like Ving Rames with a dress on. So, you know, he hollering at folks. He like, this is one of the OG niggas too. He like... Ooh, little, little skinny self. Oh, little, little cute self. Some shit he said like that. But that's what he said. I told you, they'll come at you. They'll come at you. So he came at folks like that. You know, folks must have stopped. Like, nigga. And, and look, and, and the way he punched, because he ain't like, he an OG. He he like, he he a throw them hands. But you know, some niggas good, better at throwing their hands like when y'all brawl. It's an all out brawl. They can go help. They can, shh, shh. he more one of them. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to the pipes, he John Wick. You know what I'm saying? He elite. But with the hands, he more like, you know what I'm saying? He more like, you know, when the fight, he like, you know, some people when the brawl break out, they can bounce around, they can go everywhere. So he one of them. And then you got some niggas, they just some heavy hitters. They get in the one-on-one -on -one and get, get nasty. And in the brawl, they just elite. You know what I'm saying? Because they can just run around and go crazy. You feel me? So folks ain't really like that. He Big, big, big bro more like. You know, he a brawl and he can brawl. But it's hard as it's hard as everything. You know, it's hard because he gonna go with anybody. So, you know, he, Ving Rames come at him. He what? He he do one of these, he do the baseball wind up. Literally, he do the baseball wind up. And you know, throw his weight into the punch. I see it. I see the punch coming, everything. I'm like, ooh, he finna he finna sleep him. He hit a bop. So, do you why why do they go nowhere? I'm talking about Ving ain't go nowhere. He was like, motherfucker, you just hit like for real. Cause he was like, oh, let's let skinny step up. And folks just rocked him like he was like, cause we, we was already walk, we was already charged up anyway. Niggas like, yeah, nigga, you see. Cause you know after a fight, nigga be, yeah, nigga, you see, hey, nigga, nigga, you see the way I did him, nigga. We, so we got we walking back on that type of conversation, like, yeah, nigga, you already know. So you know when the way <laughs> But I'm right behind him though. So I hear the comment and everything. You know what I'm saying? So when he when he throw the comment, like, you know, folks like, yeah, dee, 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 dee. hey skinny, you little skinny thing. Folks just stop him. Throw it back. So I was like, but he hit him hard. Like he literally he threw his whole weight into it. Like you seen it. And when he hit him, he like, he kind of bounced off him like. And folks was just like, he bounced back like this, right? <laughs> and dude was like this. No lie, dude was like. He went from hail it, motherfucker! Did you just hit me? The nigga, the nigga took the earrings off, took the shoe, took the heels off. Folks was like, it took off running, right? So folks took off running. Like I was shocked because I see the punch coming. I'm like, he finna knock his ass out. So when he hit him and he didn't knock him out, like. I <laughs> I felt the same way he felt. I'm like, damn. <laughs> what is this nigga made of? You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no way you don't you don't stumble back off that at least. You know what I'm saying? You know, the ones you don't see coming, the ones hurt the most. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no way he ain't stumble or nothing. I'm like, I'm like, damn, Joe, this is, this, this is a man's man right here. You <laughs> hear I'm like, yo, this is a man's man right here. You hear? We need this nigga on our team, but he out here in front of the club, so trying to be something I don't know. But look, he took the heels off. 
No lie, y'all. Started chasing him, G. Folks running full speed, but he ran into the car to get the gun because we was already walking to the car. You, you see, look. No lie. He chasing him, Joe. He chasing behind folks like, oh, yeah, he chasing him, G. And then, look, once he started chasing him, like 12 other ones didn't know what was going on, but they going to ride with their homies. So they started chasing. They like... And all this happened in front of me. And it's just me and like two more of the guys. Because we was like walking back behind each other. So they broke our line and all started chasing. It's like three of us left. So we started running behind them. You know what I'm saying? So this shit had to look funny as hell, y'all. Get a minute. Folks sitting running down the street. It's about 12 transsexuals chasing their ass. And then we running behind them. You feel me? That's the whole scene out there, right? So all I'm thinking when we get down, I'm like, I'm like, gee, I hope we don't get down here and got to fight all these gay people. They, oh my god, it ain't gonna look good. All I kept thinking about was like, Joe, I'm 17 at this time though, y'all. All I kept thinking about was like, what if somebody just ride by and see us all squared up? You know what I'm saying? Like, the first thing they gonna be thinking is like, folks, see, what are y'all up here fighting these transgenders for? And what is this about? Who's fucking who? You see what I'm saying? Somebody mad, it's some, it's some domestic violence dispute shit going on up here. That's what the first, that's always in my mind. I'm like, and then at 17, you know, niggas in high school, but this big folks, you know, nigga got a ride. So I'm in my mind, I'm like, gee, man, what folks on? I got to go to school tomorrow. Gee, I ain't folks. I know people up here, nigga. Nigga, see, you ain't in high school. Gee, you out, folks. You 28, folks. You know what I'm saying? I go to school tomorrow. Gee, like, <laughs> you feel me? Gee, like, I got a ride, but damn, if I can't be out here just in the middle of a house to square up. Like, yeah, nigga, what's up? Yeah, nigga, you saying what's up? With them, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, G. So anyway, we running, we running, we like, we running, we running behind them. So look, we get down to the car, y'all. True story. We get down to the crowd, so was, we the last ones down there anyway. Because they was running fast as fuck. They, them niggas was fast. Like, folks was running fast, and they was running fast. We couldn't keep up with their ass, and we run fast. I'm like, this shit personal with them, because they running fast. Everybody, the whole... I'm like, gee, when we about to tell, we got to the crowd, I was tired of the motherfucker anyway. I was hoping shit ain't happen. I'm like, man, I'm all, <laughs> nigga, we done ran, because we, we was literally like three blocks from the car, y'all. That was like a long, that was a three block run, nigga. Like, we weren't even close to the car yet. The club, like three blocks from the car, nigga, we still got two blocks to go. Like, two and a half blocks to go, G. So by the time we got down there, I ain't even going to lie. That was one of them nights I'm like, Joe, I know I can get my ass whipped that night. Because everybody, when I got down there, niggas, everybody was charged like they didn't just run. I'm like, when me and my other, me and my other two homies get down there, we all like 17, 18. All these grown, fast motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? They didn't get down there before. We finally get down there. Niggas windy, nigga. <laughs> nigga, they, nigga, look. So this is all I see when we get down there. All I see is folks got the big A. He got a gun out. And I see another one of our big homies is like 22, 23 at the time. So he older than us, but he not as old as Big folks, and he like they holding back. Like, no, G, not like this, not like this, <laughs> not like this, G. Cause you know he a killer. He didn't, he didn't ran to the car to get the gun. He trying to kill him, and they trying to calm him down. And then like the the guy that he punched, the trans that he punched, ain't give a fuck about the gun. He like nigga, let him go, let him, let that nigga go. I want him to shoot. I want him to eat them too. I'm gonna eat them too. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, G. The way you punch that nigga two blocks back, the, and he ain't and it ain't budging like that, and he hopped up and he he might just eat them bullets too tonight. You know what I'm saying? We need to get up out of here, G. That's what I was thinking. I just ain't want to say it because I couldn't look like that, so I didn't say it. But in my mind, he had me convinced like he just might eat them bullets tonight because he he went acting like you know what I'm saying. Folk got big ass gun out, and look, all his homies they were scared of the gun. Now they were like, nah, nah. Girl, calm down. Girl, calm down. Not like this. Not like this. No, bitch. No, bitch. You see, he's scary. You see, he's scary. He need a gun. But don't run up on the gun. Don't run up on the gun, girl. Don't run up on the gun. You know what I'm saying? They trying to calm. They trying to calm the home. But he ain't trying to hear shit, nigga. Let him go, nigga. And it was like all that soft boy shit was out the window. It was all bass, nigga. Let him go. Nigga need a gun, nigga, bitch. Let him go. Let him go. He yeah, right. Nigga need a gun, nigga. Let him go, nigga. Let him eat that too. I'm gonna eat them up, nigga. Let me go. They hit his girl. They calm down, girl. No, 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 calm. Ain't no calm down, girl. Get the fuck out the way. Get the fuck. Like, all oh, that girl shit was over with, nigga. Let him go. Nigga, niggas need, niggas need guns now. Niggas need guns now. Let him <laughs> You hear me, John? Like, damn. Nigga, I was in a. Nigga, they didn't even know, fuck. Cause we was deep. I told them, like, 11 of us coming back from that fight. 
So we mixed in, you know, you got your teenagers, the youngest of us like 14. You know how I be in clicks, you got that young bad motherfucker 14, he running with us, he ain't even be with us. We 17, 18, we like out here though. Then you got the motherfuckers that's 20, 22, 23, 24. They still out here. You know what I'm saying? And then you got the OGs still out. So it was like that type of night. We was out there, nigga. And you see like all the big homies trying to calm him down. Like, folks, put the gun down. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. And then you see the, then you see the, the transsexual like, let him go, nigga. Let him go, nigga. Let him shoot, nigga. And then all his homies, all his, they girl don't do it. So it was like, our homies trying to calm folks down. The transsexual homies trying to calm the transsexual down. Calm, calm, you know what I'm saying? Dude, that shit was funny as fuck. And I was just on the side still catching my breath. I like shit. I'm glad that shit ain't going right. Folks, y'all calm him down. You don't shoot him. Don't shoot him, G. Don't shoot him, G. Let's just go. For I just want to go home, G. <laughs> we remember we just left for fight. So I was still recovering from that. You know what I'm saying? So I... Don't shoot him, G, because you shoot him, G, the police going to come now. So now we got to shoot it out with them to get to the hood because he, I know he ain't going to jail. He folks like that. I probably got that mentality originally from him because he, he shooting at the police in my hood growing up. That's one thing I will say. I won't say his name. He wouldn't just go shoot at our own people. Police came here, shoot at their ass too. You feel me? Like he's like that. So I'm like, nah, G. <laughs> but we already had a fight. We won, G. We ain't even get to make it back to the hood to celebrate the fight we won, G. You know what I'm saying, folks? Now you trying to like, like, in my head, I'm, shit, I'm glad the big homies got his ass. Yeah, calm him down. And then I'm looking at the, all the transsexuals. I'm like, yeah, and calm him down. Don't nobody want no smoke. Cool. Because, <laughs> nigga, I know I was going, I wasn't nothing but a body at that point. Nigga, I wasn't, no legs was left, no arms was left, no wind. I can't do nothing out here. You just run up on somebody and get punched up, G. I'll do it, though. Niggas ain't gonna never say I ain't ride when we get to the hood. Now, I won't have that on my name, nigga. I'll, I'll come back. I'd rather come back with an ass whooping from riding than come back like I ain't riding. Eh, 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 eh. I'm always on the front line. Fuck that, nigga. But let me catch my breath. Y'all ass out here tripping. <laughs> and, then, and then I was low-key laughing because I really got to taking the whole scene in. You know, that was a whole scene, and it didn't just end quick. It was like 20 minutes, y'all. It was like 20 minutes, so eventually I caught my breath. And then I was just laughing. Hell no, folks. It was just like, man, I'm like, hold on, we got to go now. Folks. We got here too long, G. We got to we gotta get, G. Eventually somebody going to see us now, G. It's been 20 minutes. We, 20, we about 45 minutes in total now, nigga. From the first punch to the foot chase to the hole, we about 45 in. Nigga, we ain't that far from the hood, G. Somebody might be coming down off the G. It's gonna be time to move around, G. We're gonna have a lot of explaining to do. And it's gonna be it's gonna be deeper than this shit. And it's like when we got to the hood, we finally got to the hood, we did. And we all laughed about it, y'all. And we laughed about it. And we just kept it amongst ourselves. We didn't even tell other motherfuckers in the hood. Cause we like, G, they gonna think we was on some other shit. Like what the fuck was shit? You know what I'm saying? So we just kept it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, like, I said it to say this. Notice how when my when my homie threw all his weight into that punch, and he hit him, it put fear in him. Real talk, it put fear in him. That was the whole reason I told the story. He had gave him his all. You feel me? So when he seen that that punch didn't affect him, it put fear in him. What else can you do? And my big homie said that, like, when we was talking about it laughing, he was like, gee, I ain't gonna lie. He like, when I hit him, I threw my whole weight into it, and it ain't make him budge. Shit, that's why I took off running to the gun. I'm like, I ain't finna stand here with this nigga. I just hit this nigga, he ain't even budge. I'm running, I gotta go get the gun. You know what I'm saying? He kept it real. I'm like, I'm like, I, I'm like, shit, I, I feel you, G. I seen it. I seen it, G. Like, he didn't budge, bro. He didn't, G. Nah, he didn't at all. <laughs> at all, G. Like, well, you're gonna have to get in the weight room. But I just seen him hit a lot of people. Like, he could hit hard. You know what I'm saying? They're like, he can't hit. I seen him fight. He didn't hit. He hit. You know what I'm saying? He can't hit hard. Because in my neighborhood, we grew up fighting each other. That's one thing about my big homies. Like, they had us fighting each other. Like, that's why I like the West Coast. Like, they'll fight each other. They good. They like, they'll fight. I like how they come up in their neighborhoods. Like, one thing about my neighborhood in 1100, like, we grew up fighting. Like, we made, they made us fight. It wasn't no, like, gunplay. We grew up fighting. We grew up, half the neighborhood went to Matador's gym to train boxing. Like I say, Mr. Uh, 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 Tommy from Power was my fucking boxing coach. Just go look it up on the internet. It's going to tell you. Tommy used to work at Matador's in Chicago under Coach O'Shea. Coach O'Shea is a fucking legend. Like, so we grew up, like, in the neighborhood fighting other big homies, like, make us fight each other, win, lose, or draw. Like, so we grew up like that. You know what I'm saying? But, and then my mama was like that big on, you know, defend yourself. You feel me? 
Because I ain't got no brothers. I got all sisters. You know what I'm saying? So defend yourself. You know, I'm my, I'm my only the only boy. So that was that was big. You know what I'm saying? That was in, instilled in me young in my household. Like, don't start nothing, but don't back down from nothing. And you know what I'm saying? Then when I, did your mama tell you, like, and if they bigger than you, you pick up something, you hit it with something, and you bring it down to your size. That, that was my mama. So, you know, it was like, but don't start nothing, though. She big on it. Don't start nothing. So I ain't never been no shit starter. I will never just start some shit. That ain't who I am. That ain't even in my essence. Fuck the internet, nigga. I'm not no internet, nigga. I'm OG. I'm pre-internet, nigga. Like, I didn't get raised with this shit, nigga. I remember when we didn't have the internet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so, at the end of the day, like, that's just in my essence. You know what I'm saying? But I only told that story because I want y'all to know, like, that's an example of how, you see how that one, he wanted to kill him now. Now he want to kill him because he feared him because he gave him his all and it didn't affect him. So, that's just, that's what they do with us. They giving us they all. They poison our water, poison our educational systems, hurting us from every which way. Giving us they all. And when they don't have an effect on us, now what they want to do? They get, they get more scared, which makes them go harder. That's why they went to the vaccine phase. They more scared now. And then when we didn't take the vaccine, now they want to go door to door because they know that we finna ship. So that's why like the people that don't believe that, a lot of these people that, that went to go get vaccinated, think about it. Most people that went to get vaccinated, they only went out of fear, y'all. None, none of them went because they would... They seen them the, on the news spreading this, this shit. And they've been taught to trust the news more than me or you. So I don't I don't even knock the people that do it. I just be more feeling sorry for them. Like, ah, why you do that? I wish you just could see past the mainstream media and just do your own research a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Most people ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, But when they going to get that vax, they going to get it because they scared. You feel me? Because they scared. You feel me? So, and they are giving us the vax because they are scared. You know what I'm saying? And you got to know something amazing is taking place on this planet within you for them to want to vaccinate you. Period. You got to know that. Mm, a soup banger. You gotta know that. I knew it was super hot, so I had to let my shit cool down. I said somebody like eat your food. No, God, I got this. Appreciate you, but I got this. I, I know how to have my wife cook it. You know what I'm saying? And I needed a certain temper for me for me to, you know, eat it the way I want to eat it. But so right now it's nice and hot and nice and warm. Now, when it comes first off the stove, that shit be. I would have been happy. Nigga would have ate that shit. Tongue fucked up the rest of the lecture, and nigga. Then scorched all taste buds. You know what I'm saying? But you yeah, understand that though. Like that's just a fight. It shouldn't still led to him wanting to kill him. But that fear of them, I gave him my all. I gotta kill him just to protect myself. So that's how they look at us. Like they giving us they all. Just remember. They just start attacking us. They just start attacking us. This agenda men worked on us. They worked it on our mamas, our grandmamas, our granddaddies, they moms, they dads, they grandmamas, they great. Like this is a generational thing. So um, that's what you gotta, you know, remember. It's a gener it's a generational thing. You feel me? It's a generational thing. You know? But after this live end, I'm going to pull people on. We're going to talk. We're going to chop. I'm just cooling with y'all today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know me. Like, when I get on here cool, I've been here three, four hours just building. Building with y'all. Just, we just drawing. You know what I'm saying? This ain't a lecture. We just g in. We just touching all type of subjects. But, like, I just need y'all to see that. I know we laughed at the story and the example and all that, but I didn't go into that long ass story for nothing. I wanted you to just, I went into the details of it because that's just who I am to bring, to bring you into the moment of what I, what I experienced. But for you to sit there and think about that and, and understand and apply that on a larger scale of what they're doing to us. So you can really understand like anytime you see them, like for example, door to door back. You think cool. How you feeling? I see you don't have much to pull you on. How you feeling? How your day been? <laughs> 
kind of nervous. Yeah. Where you at? Where yeah. you located? In here. Tell her, I said, let us know where you from and where you located at. Trinidad, Port of Spain, West Side. Oh, you in Trinidad? Yeah. Oh, wow. We got Trinidad on here. And what I wanted was to find well, I wanted us to find out about with the video. I was kind of confused with it because I wasn't sure. All right. The question I had was if cars on these things would have been exist in the year they say he tra um, time travel. Talking about the time travel video? Yeah. Oh, this is just amazing that you're from Trinidad. I'm, I'm, I'm loving that whole vibe. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I'm loving that flavor right there. You hear me? I'm loving that flavor, though. You hear me? Loving the smile, too. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> smile more. You gotta, you gotta bless us with those high vibrations. You know what I'm saying? Got the locks. The thick, the thick natural locks. But yeah, though, you over there, it's yeah. a lot of history over there in Trinidad in, in your country where you at. It's a lot of it's a lot of ancient history on all these 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 so-called islands or Caribbean locations that they you know turn to tourist destinations mostly now, right? But um, for its luxurious waters, basically they used to water the war people there. But um, to answer your question about the time travel video, uh, have you seen it yet, or you was just going yeah. on? I was actually watching it with my daughter. Okay, right. You watched it with your daughter. Okay, yeah. So no, not my daughter. My daughter. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool. With, yeah. your, with your God. Okay, cool. That's what's up. Tell him I said peace, God. Tell him I said peace, God. Yeah, tell him I said peace, God. Right? Y'all let me know he right there so I can shout the God out too. Peace, God. How you feeling, God? Yeah, I'm, love that. I'm loving this natural, strong energy y'all bring, and definitely from you and the goddess with the locks and just being in that natural vicinity of that island over there. You hear me? Yeah, for real, for real. For real. Definitely. But then, look, so look, let me answer. Let me answer what you were saying about the time travel video, right? So, um, basically, what I was telling um the guy I had on earlier, I was conversing with before his phone. I think his phone had died. I was yeah. explaining to him that um, you have to understand that you know, time in itself isn't real. So. Yeah. I don't know do, if you do you have you do you understand that concept of like how time yeah, is real? Really? Okay, yeah. right. You understand? Okay, cool. So, okay, now but you you understand that time is real. So, without well, if you remove time, now all you have left is possibilities, endless possibilities. All right, which we like to call energy cycles because yeah, these energy cycles are alternate realities because they come from endless possibilities. All right, because there is no time in the real in the real scope of things. Time was a spell created to, to keep us stuck in living over the repeating the same spell, living the same days over and over like Groundhog Day. So basically, you running like a dog chasing his tail in circles as opposed to going yeah. forth. You see, because you're just repeating and counting days and believing that you're aging when you're not. All right, so. We have energy cycles, which is just basically endless possibilities. But these possibilities are always altered based upon the thoughts that we hold. Okay. So one of the possibilities is that if this current reality and current society stays at the, at where is that right now? With all the hatred amongst black people, amongst themselves, all over the planet, whether it's in America, Trinidad, Jamaica, right? Like right now, you would consider yourself you know, from Trinidad, you know, I yeah. would say I'm from America, you know, somebody from Jamaica would say they're from Jamaica. And now here comes titles with that, which separates us. So now I can't relate to your pain because I think I'm an American and you and you, you, you in Trinidad. So we two different nationalities. So we not the same. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like all that has to be shambled because once you you can understand the time travel video and what, what that was about. That's that was certain human beings from from a certain possibility, which you would call the future down here in your on your planet, but it's really just a possibility. So you have certain human beings coming back from certain possibilities that are trying to warn humanity of where it will be if it continues along the possibility that it's going down. Because right now the way it's going is the they are to take us from DEA and RNA to full on DNA. That will then make us humanoid. And then from humanoid, they want to turn us to robots. 
that they can just easily control. This is called transhumanism, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the agenda. They don't want more babies created because they don't need new souls coming in. So this is why they're pushing the homosexual agenda so hard. They're like, they're like forcing that on the, kid, on the kids too and on the communities as well because they don't want us to keep having babies at all. They yeah. don't want to keep bringing souls and spirits here because they have to try to, every time a new soul and a new, and a, and every time a new soul get here, they know that this soul could potentially be a soul that's going to help break the whole matrix. So yeah. they are scared every time a soul comes because they know that these souls are coming from the ancestors. We land in here. We land in here. We land in here. Like I was telling him earlier, it's no birthday. It's only called a birthday because that's you have a birth certificate. It's really your soul in return. No, we were talking about with the, the birth date and the birth paper. That one kind of, I feel I was like for me because I was thinking about it. Even though we were not talking about the gay stuff, I was zoning out thinking about it because it kind of, I don't know how to play it. I just see things differently. Like, wow, it just opened up my eyes more. Right. It's a way like, all right, so it's like if for how my mom have a birth paper and she birth me, which is, we know it's not birth, but it's a way to control generations. Like if I have a child, it will be theirs because, yeah. So that one kind of, it put me in a, in a little zone they family. Right. Um, I don't know, like, hold on one second. All right, so yeah, so basically, um, I heard everything you said. I was just listening to you. I was just listening to you. Um, yeah. So, but I want to stay focused on the time travel thing. Break, keep breaking that down for you. I don't want to get yeah. off track because you asked me to break it down, but. So like, that's why like I was like I was saying like understanding that the energy cycles and understanding that when I just mentioned like when I mentioned the homosexuality, I understand that that's something that people like to do with a sexual preference. So their sexual preference doesn't change their soul. It has nothing to do with their soul. That's something that they participated yeah. in as an experience while on this rim. I get that part. But the balance has to be that you still have to have straight people in straight relationships because that should be to still be promoted more. If, if a person chooses to be gay, then that should be like a, a fucking uh, a side hobby. They, that yeah. gay person still has a duty to bring kids here. So you should still use your penis in your testicles to use that good semen that you were given to help usher in new avatars. And then if you want to do your yeah. thing on the side, because that's your hobby, do it. Because that's your hobby. Do you. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever make you feel good. I, 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 can't, I can't tell people how to live on that side. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that that doesn't alter a person's soul. You know what I'm saying? Just like I say, I can't, you know, I just know the science of, of why it's wrong. I know that if people are going to participate in that lifestyle, they need to still be trying to have kids. But that's not the agenda. Yeah. They trying to completely kill off that. They want everybody gay, and they want the kids gay, and they, they don't want no more babies coming in. You get what I'm saying? They yeah. don't want that. Because then now we can't keep bringing our species continue, eventually starts to die off. Along with them already taking us to the transhumanism phase. Now they was already sitting here living off us, eating off us, literally eating off us as we day food. Literally. Is that time is that a way to the populate the um the so, population so, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We literally their food. And they yeah. get it different ways. Every time somebody died, what you think happened to that body for real? And that blood and the organs for real. What do you think that all oh, that's going? No, no, they don't stay in that body. They take everybody organs and eat them. And drink the blood. You know, this is what I'm trying to get everybody to see the people that who we warn against. You know, so, you know, when you're talking about energy cycles, yeah, you know, in time, 
these people that this coming up with these time travel videos that everybody wondering about, like the, like the guy, the, the guy everybody's talking about, this is a human being coming from a possibility back into this present possibility. If you want to use the word present, because time doesn't exist, but into this current reality and letting them know, because he's really wanting them. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is where it goes. I'm, I'm, I'm here in this year, and there's nobody here. You know what I'm saying? It's nobody is in the sense of us because we are not human. But it's it no humans there, and, and 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 that's what nobody's paying attention to, to either. Like as guys and goddesses, we're gonna be here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But if, like I've been saying, if if no, if the human beings don't rise their vibration, raise their vibration to to come out of this lie of racism or mistreating us or looking down upon us, uh, making us slave at their Fortune 500 companies that they make billions of dollars off of. They don't pay taxes, none of that. Like, they've been mistreating us all around the board, literally killing us off. So that's at the elite level. Now, you have the ones that's not elites, your middle class and your, and your poor, and they have been helping in this mistreatment of the planet and its originators by believing that there's a that 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 um white supremacy is okay. Yeah. You no. Know, um, and you could do that passively. You don't have to be aggressive with it. And most of them are passive, aggressive, with their views of believing that white supremacy is okay. Okay. So, then that's shown even more by them making new laws. I don't see too many human beings speaking out about the law that just got passed down in Texas and that will be getting passed in these other states saying that now, you know, you can't teach about the KKK no more. But down here in Stone Mountain, the KKK fucking face is all on the fucking mountain down here in Atlanta. All right? I was just saying the other day, like, people need to go watch my, 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 my video on Stone Mountain. I did a, a deep drop on that. It's on my website. I broke down a lot of gems about what Stone Mountain really is, all right? Yeah. And how it's not a fucking mountain and all that. So, and what it really is and what it's used for. So, you know, that's on my website, the truth about Stone Mountain. But they'll sit here, they'll sit here and, 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 um, and, you know, that's why I say, you know, like very few human beings is, you know, in on it with us. It's only, a, it's only a few, a few small ones. Majority of them, if they're not aggressive, they are passive participants. You see what I'm saying? Nobody's saying nothing about that law that just got passed. Nobody, I don't see no no elite, no no none of our people that's elite saying it or no, none of the human beings saying it. And that's big. You feel me? Because that's altering history once again. Now, now our kids grow up and they'll never know nothing about the KKK. Yeah. If we let if we let that pass. Yeah, they'll never know true. nothing about that. And they'll never know nothing about the fact that it was a time and period where blacks was ever enslaved. That's basically what they're trying to do. You know? So, that's why I say, like, we in the end game. Yeah. You know, in that time travel video, it's just him telling, coming back, letting human beings know that if y'all keep on with the shit y'all on with them, Y'all won't be here, nigga. Y'all not here in 2027. See what I'm saying? Only we here. See, that time traveler not saying that, though. You feel me? Yeah. Not saying that. Because yeah, ain't no, human being, ain't no human beings there, nigga. We yeah. there, though. <laughs> he ain't gonna say that part. You know what I'm saying? We there, like... Well, that's why the people that have been asking about that video, I wasn't even gonna make no lecture about the video. I can care less about what he said because I understand it's just a possibility and he came back to try to help the human beings. That ain't got nothing yeah. to do with the gods and goddesses at all. He won't even tell my fuckers that it's gods and goddesses there, but ain't none of them there. See me? Yeah, the information I, I create by the video. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what they say, baby. I feel you. I heard God is. Turn your dad watching. Uh -huh. Tap in. Desirable Dasha. What's up, goddess? Love them little pigtails on your profile picture. And it may even pigtails, I'm like Afro puffs.
I don't know, Desirable Dasha, you tell me what's up. How you feeling, goddess? I love your little afro puffs in your profile picture. Genial, y'all. GNN, y'all. We live. GNN. Yeah, we're going to have, we're going to get on here. I'm telling you. I what's up, God? Please, <laughs> goddess, what's up? I'm sorry. I, hit, I look hit right now. But... Listen, don't do that. No, you don't. You are beautiful just the way you are. You got to put your face on the camera. I got into an altercation with my sibling, and she put her hands on me, bro. And I feel like that was an entity trying to stop my, my shine. She saw me meditating. And I just found it very odd that I started meditating ever since I started getting into the spirituality and trying to get to know myself. Right. It's like random stuff just been happening to me back to back. Like I got scars on my face. Like she literally put her hands on me and I hit my head on the concrete. And so like I had to go to the doctor and everything. I was just around some people. And it's just weird how I was, I know there's some people that was there that was vaccinated and I randomly had like some right. reactions. It just goes to show how this shit is just real. Like it's crazy out here for real, for real. Right? Yeah. Well, um, yeah, it's a lot going on. You gotta, you gotta, like I say, it's a, it's a spiritual warfare. Did you, um, did you, did you go get vaccinated? Mm -mm, hell no. <laughs> hell yeah, no. Yeah. Don't let them. Don't let them. Don't let them trick you, cause you know, you know they get intense. They get intense. They get intense, young guys. Where you and where you from? I'm from Texas. Let, let, I'm from Houston. People, Right, let the people know where you're from, and no, and you can't get on here and, and be and be scared to show yourself because I am I embrace the natural goddesses. We don't do that, and the guys. I tell people be they so we don't. You feel me? But yeah, though, uh, shout out to shout out to Houston though. Yeah, shout out to Houston for sure. And yeah, like definitely, you just gotta stay strong. You feel me? Don't let them, um, you gotta get away from that energy. Cut that energy out from you. I'm definitely gonna get, go get you because uh, she just came from the ER with me and she is sick. She's sick, so I'm I'm trying to help her get better. I've been talking to her about it. I'm trying to get her to see like what's really going on. I know it's part of her that understands what I'm talking about. Right, right, yeah. You and know, she's like from the seventies. Like she like old school. So it's like it's hard to it's hard to talk to them, but I try. Yeah, some of them. Yeah, some of them. Yeah, it just depends. Like now, the elders that's that's tapped in now. Yeah. They they not hard to talk to. That's you gotta talk to the right elders, you know what I'm saying? But if yeah, if you talking to them good black folk, them good elderly black folk, oh you ain't got nothing coming. Right. I don't pick up the phone and try to tell my grandmama shit about no none of this. She a die hard Christian, my auntie. I got brothers, I got people that you know what I'm saying? I don't they went and got vaccinated that that did it. That's family that I love. I don't I don't I don't talk to them about it. I just let them do them. I know what I know. And they know what they know, so it's like okay, cool. I like you got it. They got their own soul contract. Right. I keep telling people that like it. Like I don't know if individuals feel like it's just them. No, like I have family too. We think all my family, uh, you know, tapped in. No, my family is Christian. I come out of Christian household. Right. Good, good, diehard Christian household. You hear me? Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, um. I've been cast out by family members for what I believe and what I speak up for. Do I you think I give a fuck? No, I don't because that's not my real family. You feel me? Right. You know, that's what you got to know. Okay. Um, and that's not my real that's, not You said what? Like, I've been having sudden dizziness. I don't know if it's because I hit my head or because we're going through this Lionsgate portal, but I noticed there's been, like, a lot of changes going on. Or like, I wake up sometimes and I just feel like something is coming. I don't know if everybody else here feel like that, but it's just tension in my soul every time I go outside. <laughs> well, I don't... I ain't gonna lie. I can't, um... I can't answer that for you because I don't... I don't know what you have going on. I don't know, like, the energy you around. I don't know, like, it's a lot. It, that could be a lot. It's a lot going on. It's spiritual warfare right now going on, so. Yeah. And then when you just tell me, like, you're trying to wake your mom up. How old are you? I was you know, 18. 
Oh, you're 18, okay. We know time not real, but you're supposed to be 18. So technically right now you're 10 based upon their Gregorian calendar. No, you're 10. Time will set back eight years. <laughs> so you're 10 right now. I mean, let them tell it if time is real, you know. So you're 10, basically, you know what I'm saying? All right. And, uh, you know, you still live with your mom, correct? Yes. You can't tell your mama shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You eight, and you 18, so you had to get the fuck out my house age, and you in yeah. there trying to tell your change your mom. She's like, if you don't get the fuck out of my house with that shit. That's facts. I'm just keeping it real with you. Real of rich, you hear me? I ain't gonna never lie to you. I'm I'm Uncle Divine Insight to you. You see what I'm saying? I'm I'm, unk. I'm like unk or something. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm big bro slash unk. You know what I'm saying? I'm that real right. unk though. I'm that uncle when you 18. You're like, I'm finna hit my uncle up because he's still young with it. He older than me, but he's still young with this shit. So he gonna understand where I'm coming from and he gonna keep it all the way. He gonna keep it gangster with me. I'm that uncle that's gonna smoke weed with your ass when you ain't supposed to be smoking. That's me. You wanna hit this shit? Don't tell you. Don't tell your mama. I'll let you hit this shit. Now. <laughs> I just want to say I really appreciate you. I value you so much. Like, like I always had this insight about myself, even at a young age. I, it was always things that I felt that I knew was wrong. It was just when I seen your video, it was just the clarification that I needed. And it was literally everything that I needed. Right. Literally. Shout out to all the, hold on, shout out to all the, the young reflections in here. I see y'all comment, I think 14 now, they, because they doing, they going out the Gregorian calendar. But yes, I want y'all to look that up. Don't take my word. If you haven't, look up Google. You got a separate phone with you right now? No, nah, this my only phone. Uh, okay, well, if you did, I would say Google Gregorian calendar, and it's going to show you all that. It's going to blow your mind. You're going to be like, you're going to be like, Damn. You feel me? Like, what the fuck? So I'm 10 right now? Like, yeah, like, it's crazy. But so <laughs> that's why I just want people to look at for themselves so they can be like, man, oh, this shit ain't real, man. And like I keep saying, we live in the same days over. You know what I'm saying? So if you nobody can name the eighth day. You got seven days of what you name. And so I, if we can't say it's 365 days, but we only know seven days. If we only know seven days, if we only know seven days, what? Okay, then why can't we apply that method to money then? If we, okay, okay, mortgage, my mortgage like what, 2100 Okay, if my mortgage 2100 mortgage, I'm going to take $100 and count that shit 21 times, you hear me? Can we do that mortgage? Why can't we do that mortgage? Why can't I do that with my mortgage? Why can't you do that with your shoes when you want to go to the store and get fresh to go to your little high school outings, you feel me? Like, nice. girl, let me go in here, give me some... You go in there, get your nails. You get your nails and your stud and all that done. You get, I'm pretty sure you get moments and you get fly right. You do your fly thing. Right? I'm pretty sure because you're 18. Right. Okay, when shit costs money, like you should go in there and try it at 18. Walk in the store. Be like, oh, I want these months, this, this outfit with these shoes. It's about 200 Look, y'all, I got $20. But I'm going to tell y'all what. We're going to run this shit like we run time. I'm going to count this $20 10 times, nigga. That's a $200, everybody. We should be even. I should be able to walk out the store with these shoes. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't walk out the store with these shoes. And what are we doing it with time? So so we can only repeat numbers when it comes to time? That don't even go together. It doesn't make sense. It's a lot of stuff yeah. that don't make sense. It's too many holes. That's, a, that's enough to tell you right there. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Young reflection. Yes. So that's why I want you to know that at what's supposed to be 18, because guess what? That you could tell somebody that's 16, and they can tell somebody that's 14, and they can tell somebody that's 12, and they can tell somebody that's 8, and they can tell somebody that, you know, we come here gifted. You know what I'm saying? So hey, you can learn whatever. It's just about what, you, what you've been taught and what you're exposed to. You know how they always put them little, let me tell you something, goddess. You know how they always put them on. Um, They always put those uh, videos up with the kids where they always say these kids are geniuses or these kids are very smart. And normally be like a little white kid or a little little Asian oh, they kid. they with this live heavy. I mean, well, yeah, they're they going to do that when you get on here with me. So look, this is what you could do, right? This is what you could do. Just click out and then I'm going to try to pull you back in because they only right. doing that on your end. They ain't messing with my end. All right. Okay. Anyway, so we gonna keep telling what's going on. 
All right, so we OG it in. So, you know, like, they want to hide everything from y'all. You feel me? When you talk about this time thing. You hear me? Yeah, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask some more people. I'm, I'm talking. I'm gonna chop it up with y'all. That's what we uh, we gonna be about. We for the kick it. Hey, I say somebody said it's a lot of young guys and goddesses. I told y'all, I they in here. Like, why y'all think I be like? I always shout out to the twenty one under. I always say that. You think I just be sitting at the same? They in my daughter eleven. She right here. She watching too. She be lit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause look, remember the the youth. They just got here. They souls pure. So, if you send tainted shit they way, they see that, yes. But my soul pure. You think I'm not going to pull a lot of, like, kids to me and youthful souls that just got here? Yeah, because they know my energy. They can feel my energy. They're like, oh, yeah, I know this energy. So, they listening. And that's what we want. We want them to listen to more motherfuckers like me so that they can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the elders in here. You got, I'll be like, hey, shout out to the 65 OD. Yes, this is the university. This, this is why it's called a university. First off, age ain't real, y'all. Time ain't real. So let's say we can get away from that and you can see that we just all gods and goddesses. Then you can understand why it's so many, what you call your 18, your 21 under in here. And you got people in here 65 and older. You got 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s in here. You got all age groups, all races, all nationalities from all parts of the planet. That's what we, this is the university. This ain't, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. There's people here from everywhere. It ain't like, you know what I'm saying? Right, like shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, Everybody just ain't comment. You know, this 620 motherfuckers plus it's climbing. Everybody don't comment. Some people will just sit in here and watch the live because I do that. Sometimes I go to lives, I don't comment, especially if I'm in somebody live with a lot of comments. Y'all are entertainment when y'all comment to them. So motherfucker can really just sit there and y'all be dropping gems in the comments y'all self. So now motherfucker is just watching a live. You got a lot of people that love the live just so they can see y'all comment because they, they getting to hear me, but then they seeing so many people drop their own little gems outside of the trolls. But even the trolls is funny. If you just sit back watching, they might say some funny shit. You know what I'm saying? So we really be in here like, it's like a fun learning environment. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So you gonna see so many different energies in here. You know what I'm saying? And then I don't turn my back to nobody. So yeah, you gonna have street niggas in here. You gonna have motherfuckers that went to college and ain't never been in those streets in here. You gonna have gay people in here. You gonna have straight people in here. You gonna have people on the down low in here. You gonna have rich people in here. You gonna have poor people in here. You gonna have all type of people because we ain't people. We souls and spirits. So this is a gathering of souls and spirits. And y'all can feel my energy. You ain't gotta agree with everything I'm saying. You feel my energy. You know what I'm saying? So you know, like my energy is pure. My intent is pure. You feel me? I ain't never too big to apologize. I'm always giving back, and I'm always giving back when I'm teaching. And I'm always learning from others as well. You know what I'm saying? I learn from y'all. You feel me? Y'all, I see y'all comments. Y'all, some, some of y'all be dropping gems. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I might say some shit that need to be corrected, and y'all are dropping. That's how the ancestors come. It's energy. And so you got to understand energy, man. It's a frequency war. So the ancestors can literally give me a download to put out. And my intent could be to put the download out, right? And I could be putting it out, right? But then the matrix could still make something get inside of me because it's we dealing with energy that can alter the way that download came out so even though i might have said the download right it might come across the wrong way to y'all now you need another god or goddess out there to interject because they they playing it from the sidelines so i'm saying when i'm sitting here talking to y'all i'm basically in the war with the matrix because they want me to say some whole other shit to y'all you get what i'm saying you don't think it's all type of negative bullshit they want me to say to y'all yes i just don't say it you feel me like that's the battle. We all got that battle, y'all. Just because I'm not on here saying that. I could be on here gossiping. I could be on here like just, no. I use it to, to enlighten and inform. You know what I'm saying? But that's still a fight. Yes, it's still a fight. So in that fight, you got to understand electrical energy. And we all connected. So that's why, yeah, we is connected. So you connected, you pull your God up. We pull each other up. It's a universe. Ain't no big eyes and little U's in here. You get what I'm saying? And that's why everybody, they like the guy that got on the early said, I want to thank you. I'm like, look. I appreciate you, God, but don't thank me. And then it, thank the ancestors. They working through me. And this is all our information. I've been saying that. No matter who presents it. It's not shit I'm saying y'all don't already know. It's not shit nobody can say that we don't already know. So when people say things that you think you don't know, it's not that you don't know it. It's just that you're remembering so much was took from us. 
I, that's why I always say I'm just here to help you remember. And anybody that beef with me about that, they just be mad because I'm telling the truth. Because I don't force it on nobody. So there's no reason for nobody to attack me in the comments. People do it. They do it on my YouTube. I've never forced it. So how the fuck am I getting attacked? Nigga, I should be like, fuck it. I'm crazy. Don't. Why the fuck is you arguing with a crazy motherfucker? Nigga? Fuck is wrong child. If I'm crazy, what the fuck? Fuck is you were here listening to me for? Nigga, fuck. And you know, if I'm crazy, you know I'm crazy. And you gonna sit here and listen to a crazy motherfucker. God damn it, what that make you? Let make the shit make sense. God damn, you know what I'm saying? Like that don't even add up. You know what I'm saying? You know, like you know, so you know, like it's just this, we 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 really building in here, man. It's 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 an energetic build. I don't give a fuck whether you agree what I'm saying with. Long as we we when we come and we gather and we focus all our energy on one specific intent, which is to better ourselves. That's building right there. That's what that's the true building. That's what building is. You know what I'm saying? It's not about us agreeing. We don't supposed to agree. That's not building. Just because we agreeing on everything. No, they, we ain't even building, nigga. Now how we building if we agreeing? We trying to place these blocks. We remembering shit, nigga. We putting pieces back together, nigga. You might have a piece. I might think a piece should go right there, but you might have the piece that need to go right there, nigga. You gonna let me just put the piece right? No, nigga, slap my hand down and put the piece right there. I need to go there, nigga. She would have to have a whole fist fight after her, but she and I don't see what you meant. You ever seen they live, nigga? He had this, that's what they be. He had a whole fight with that nigga to get him to put them glasses on, nigga. That's me, nigga. Boy, I did, ooh, if I went on Instagram, I hit play on YouTube. I don't want them to try to goddamn it. It's copyright infringement the video. Boy, I'll show you that scene, nigga. And, and get out, I mean, and not and get out, and they live with Roddy Roddy Piper. He was trying to show his ass that these, this shit is out here, nigga. Look, the nigga ain't want to look. Boy, he had to scrap with that nigga. And that was the longest fight scene you've ever seen in a movie. But it was signs and symbols for the conscious mind. It's a whole fight to get niggas to put the glasses on, G. That's how I be out here, G. Nigga, I got to be in the alley with niggas. <laughs> then, you know, they fighting back. So niggas punching me back, niggas slamming me. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I got to get up. You know what I'm saying? They hit hard, too, nigga. It's a fight. Nigga, we out here scrapping just to get niggas to put the glasses on. The see. Nigga, finally... We his he leaking, I'm leaking. Now he finally put the glasses on and look up. Oh damn, God. You wanted us to see how deep this shit was. That's all you wanted. God damn it. Yeah, right. Now we gotta heal together, nigga. Cause we've been fighting. Cause I want you to see this shit. And you feel like you don't need to see it. So now we gotta fight about this shit. Nigga, you gonna see this shit. Nigga, you gonna put these that's me, y'all. You gonna put these glasses on, nigga. Nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. You can slam me, throw me through the window, I'm coming back. And I'm hit you with some hard shit and slam you, nigga. You come back. We're going to do it all day, nigga. And when it's all said and done, nigga, you're going to put these glasses on. <laughs> nigga, we might both be fucking my eyes swole, your shit swole, we lick it. But I love you, nigga. You're going to put these glasses on and see this truth. You hear me? And when you put them bitches on, you're going to be like, damn. Shit, I ain't mean to, I ain't mean this. I ain't mean to fight with you like that, dog. I just ain't know if shit was that real. You know what I'm saying? But like that's that's really like what's symbolic as fuck, though. Like trying to wake a motherfucker up, Joe. It's a whole fight, nigga. And niggas fight back. Niggas hit hard. Y'all hit hard. The guys and the guys. So nigga, it's a whole fight. Niggas don't see that part though. You feel me? It's a whole fight. Go watch the movie. That was nigga. Nigga, that was a yeah, it was an eight-hour fight, eight-minute fight scene. No talking either. All knuckles, slams, like old school fighting, nigga. They was fighting, nigga. Wasn't no niggas ain't say what they was gonna do to each other. Nigga, <laughs> niggas ain't had nobody jumped in. Wasn't no false cell phones pulled out. It was one-on-one, -on -one, mano e mano, nigga. Old school way. Niggas took their jackets off. Nigga, and niggas walked home together and respected each other more. You know, that's how we came up. I'm, that's why I like that scene, too, nigga. Like, I remember fighting my home, all my homies. We fought, nigga. Like, we whooped each other ass. Nigga, then finally got cool. Like, damn, G, you hit hard as hell. I'm glad we friends today. I just want to let you know that, G. You hit hard, too, with it. Like, I'm like, we just, like, you know, it be so, like, in life, it's like that, like, trying to just get somebody to see the truth. But, nigga, it's, it is what it is. This is what we sign up for sometimes. So that's what I'm telling y'all like.
for those of you like the young goddess who was just like, hey, who was just on here, hey, how do I get my mom to see? I mean, you can't force nobody to see, but you can force them to see. Are you willing to put go go into that fight? That's a verbal fight. That's a mental fight. And it's definitely a spiritual fight. Because sometimes when you try to step on the other side and pull somebody back to the... You can get lost over there yourself. It's dangerous. That's what I meant to tell y'all too. Like A lot of people have been reaching out. Listen, it's walking activity going on. Portals opening up. I ain't doing no more one-on-one -on -one consultations. That shit dead. I don't give a fuck what you want to pay. You see what I'm saying? It ain't even about the money. It's just I can't be exchanging energy like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a live tonight on my on my website about sexual energy exchange. You hear me? It's going to be all about that. You see what I'm saying? But it ain't just with sex. It's just a calm conversing. It's walking. You feel me? <coughs> I can't be helping you. Because if I have a one-on-one -on -one with you, then I'm helping you, right? You might ask me something. But if I help you, I don't know what you to do with your soul. I don't know what you to get yourself into. And we got walk-ins on the planet right now. It's spiritual warfare. It's end game. So if I help you, now I open myself up to be attacked from Zeus, Satan, Zeus and Zeus and his army. You know what I'm saying? To be attacked by, by that negative side because I'm not supposed to be helping you. You know what I'm saying? I'm only supposed to help the gods and goddesses. I can't I can't help you if you didn't already sold your soul. I can't help you if you didn't. You know what I'm saying? A lot, like I say, I can't I can't help you if you didn't already did that because I'm not going to put myself in harm's way like that. You feel me? I understand. I don't give a fuck about this physical world. That's why I talk like that, nigga. That nigga ain't worried about shit, nigga. But in the masters, nigga, nah, it's real. You see what I'm saying? That's what I worry about, spiritual world. You see what I'm saying? Where it's really real at, nigga. I know how it really get. You was not going to have no 5,000 motherfucking spirits attacking me and my shit because I done helped your ass. Now, I done stepped in their way. Nigga, not even knowing that you didn't make contracts, nigga. This is how this shit go. If you didn't make deals, nigga, with motherfuckers, nigga, you got to honor them deals, nigga. And he's coming to collect right now because his walking is going on. So I can't help you. You feel me? Like, I help as many as I can help. So as far as that one-on-one -on -one shit, I can't do it. You feel me? And then as far as when we talk right here, let's, be, let's build. I can help you like that by building and showing you and helping you to remember. But, like, come in and leave with your personal shit. Like, I can't, I can't dive into that. Cause that's that's intervening and spiritual. I don't know what you, you know what I'm saying. And I actually practice voodoo and hoodoo and forms of magic, and I'm already open to that side of the spiritual realm. So I already know the ancestors told me to tell y'all that. Like I had to tell it to y'all. I forgot. I've been meaning to tell y'all the last few weeks. Actually, to be bogus, that be honest, I'm bogus to say I'm supposed to been saying it, nigga. Like, but like on some real shit, like for real though. No, I'm, I'm serious now. I don't even want that type of smoke. Like I ain't now. Cause then like. I'm not bagged up no more. So now I'm just out here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm just out here practicing some dangerous shit with no bagging, nigga. You know what I'm saying? With no spiritual protection, I'm just out here now. I'm not gonna just be out here, nigga, because you didn't fucked up, and now you didn't ran to me, and I ain't asked you no questions. I'm just helping you, not even knowing you fucked up. And now they gonna come for me, nigga, because they gonna attack me and be like, and it ain't nothing I can ain't know where you didn't know. You're supposed to ask questions when you got when you gifted in that field to help others like that in the position I'm in in the cosmos. I'm supposed to ask questions first to know if you what what spiritual ties you have. Man, this shit real. This shit ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit ain't no joke. You know what I'm saying? This shit ain't no joke at all. You feel me? Like, and I ain't even gonna sit here and act like it is and even play like that. I I, I don't even play. I don't play like that. That's one thing I don't joke or play on. When it comes, you ain't never seen me sitting here playing on that. You ain't gonna, you're not gonna see me play on that. You feel me? So that don't mean that I don't like, like, love you as my species. Hell yeah. I'm just saying, now you, maybe somebody else, you go to them and they don't know that and they willing to take that risk. I'm not fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I already know what comes with that when you intervene and, and like when people make certain deals and certain situations, they're like, I'm not just talking about for no music and no. I'm saying, just saying, even with your job and your communities, like, you make certain arrangements, certain, you know, spiritual, you do certain things and you set up certain karma for yourself. If you just set up certain karma for yourself, you got to go and sit with your creator, which, which is yourself, and you got to make that right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my advice for y'all. That's what you have to do. Like, you can't, I can't intervene. It's out of my hands. I'm not that high up. I'm not that high up. Like, when you make them type of deals, nigga, you weigh in over my head, nigga. You're going to have to go sit with your creator, nigga. 
and 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 sit with yourself and 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 and, and, and find your way through there. I can't step in there. You know what I'm saying? I can't step up in there like that. I could step up in there like that, but I'm not gonna dethrone myself. You know what I'm saying? And then put myself at at, at risk to be attacked by some powerful principalities that I that I know is on the planet right now. I know they here. I know what's going on. He said, I know what's going on. Motherfuckers is collecting souls around this bitch right now. I don't need the news. I'm tapped into the astros. I don't I don't never listen to the news. I expose what they lie about. You see what I'm saying? I don't never go watch them niggas. I expose when they ass lying about some shit that need to be talked about. All this shit they be lying about anyway. But if it's some detrimental to us, then I'll talk about it. I only talk about what they permit me to say, so I'm just saying that too on the real side. But that don't mean that I don't have love for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been live all day. I told you I was I was chilling with the guys and goddesses today. You feel me? I told I told y'all I was doing that. Be careful, man. Let me see. Every time. Nah, let me see. <laughs> it's just my figure. I'm fine. Nah, ain't no just cause last nah, ain't no fine. Cause last time you did, you need to watch what you're doing. We we kicking it all day. I'm I'm gonna kick it with y'all. Until I go live, or well, not until I go live, I'm gonna get out here eventually. But I'm chilling. I'm on here. We cooling. Like y'all come back. I'm coming on. You know what I'm saying? Like I I ain't been live on on this page like that anyway. You gotta remember that. I be everywhere. I ain't been on this page. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, let me go on the page where I can go live and and and, and talk to the guys and guys. I'm gonna pull y'all on and all that shit. We vibing today. I promise we vibing. I ain't listen. If I say we vibing, we vibing. We could drop to a hundred. We gonna be. I'm gonna be vibing. You up there? I we vibing like I we cool. You feel me? Just be careful though, Lele. Okay, you just gotta take your time to pay attention. But you're doing a good job. But I don't like all that you. You know what I'm saying? Burning yourself stuff. I know it happens with with cooking and all that. But you know, no, I don't like that. I be ready to fight the stove. You know what I'm saying? And I can't fight the stove, so I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that. You know what I'm saying, y'all? I don't like that. But yeah, I had to say that like a lot of people like are that are mediums, and I hope they know that too. Like it's a lot of like tarot readers, like it's like no, nah, they be tapped in. It's a lot of tarot readers that's tapped in, you know what I'm saying? They might not know how deep they tapped in, but there are a lot of tarot, you got tarot readers out here right now, a lot of them on YouTube. Shout out to all of them. Um, you got a lot of people that's making YouTube videos, shout out to all those. Some people got a lot of subscribers, some people don't, but it's a lot of people out here kicking knowledge. So just shout out to y'all. But um anybody that's doing it right now, protect y'all selves. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, go get that red, red dragon's blood sage. Everybody should have it. I should have it on my website. I don't though. So I'm telling y'all to go get it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I don't have it on my website. But um yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, sometimes I look at, I think somebody said they stop. Sometimes I look at Terry Rickers. I just go, I mean, I'm in a safe place to do it, though. You know what I'm saying? I understand what they're doing, and I understand, and I and, and I understand, you know, because some of them be talking about, like, some deep shit. You know, it's just who you looking at. You know what I'm saying? Some Terry Rickers stay stay on the basic level. It's levels to that. It's levels to that. You know what I'm saying, too? Like, some just stay at the basic because they just learn, and then they'll get deeper with time. And then you got some that they more experienced, so they able to go deeper. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you do got to be careful with it. You know why? Because the person that's like, if you go to somebody for to read tarot cards about your future or something, I wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? I probably would talk to let them talk about like my zodiac energy and what they see for my energy, but I wouldn't read no cards on my future. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Unless I know the tarot reader's soul. You see what I'm saying? Like, if I know she has a good soul then, or he has a good soul, yes. If you know that, yeah, but you got to remember, they casting over your future. You know what I'm saying? And if you accept it, uh, yeah, I know they bombed the ocean. I've seen that. If you, if you accept it, then, you know, you accept the fate of it. Remember, the future, what you think is the future is just an energy cycle. It can always be altered. The, we don't have a future. You have endless possibilities. They call it the future. And time doesn't move. Time doesn't move like past, present, future. That's not how it works. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, that's what makes you lose sight of a day. That's how you're not able to take in the energy from the cycle of the sun. Why is it called an energy cycle? Because we're looking at the cycle. The sun cycles around the, the, the ram, within the ram. And there was two suns that would cycle around the ram. This is why we never had a nighttime. It was always daylight. It didn't used to be no nighttime originally. Before they landed, it was always daylight because we had two suns cycling. So this is why they call energy cycles cycling. You know, 24, what they call 24-7, all right? But why Why do they call it 24-7, all right? You say it's 24, 24 hours in the seven days, right? All right, but in reality, what's seven plus four? Let's break down 24-7. What's seven plus four? 11. Now, what's 11 plus two? 13. Up. Oh. There go that number again. And if you've been in this university, we are I've broken down what 13 represents. Them. The bloodlines, the 13 colonies, they write this shit on everything. 24-7 is something they use for time. And it all adds up to 13. All right? You know, like, understand that it's the same with the days. You know what I'm saying? It's 365 days. Feel me? But they only named seven. And we have, when nobody ever asked, where are the other days at? We never said, where are the other 358? Y'all only named seven. Nigga, no, don't hit us with Monday. Guys, Monday again. Monday already passed. Is Monday again what that means? It's seven days. We not finna count Monday 200 times, nigga. You got me who? If I can't do that with money, why are we doing that with now? Who, who, what? Man, nah, hell nah. Make this shit make sense now. Make it make sense. Now. Come on now. You said 365 days, nigga. Days. Days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. <laughs> now, 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 with other 358, we can't come Monday. No, we've already said that. We already said it. We don't even do that with the alphabets, nigga. Niggas don't go A, 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 we don't do that with the alphabets, nigga. So we're not going to do it with time. You see what I'm saying? Niggas go A, B, C, D, E. Right, we're naming different. Let's go back to basics. We're naming different letters. That makes sense. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right. Now that makes sense. So what we doing? How is we 365? But it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Seven. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 14. Monday, what? Nigga, please, nigga. Nigga, y'all might as well reteach the whole arithmetic system all over again for me, nigga. If you want me to accept that shit, nigga. Y'all gonna have to break, we're gonna have to take this shit back all the way. Nigga, we getting rid of, we're gonna have to reteach addition all the way over. Now you have to completely reteach addition and subtraction. So that means we gotta we gotta cast out multiplication and division because you taught us addition and subtraction before you taught us multiplication and division. So we gotta X that out. Now we're we gotta start all the way over, nigga. Help make it make sense. I'm just repeating what y'all taught us in school. Did y'all not teach us? Y'all taught us this in school now. Correct me if I'm wrong, America. I'm just Hey, four C's, four C's here. Cordial colored concerned citizens. That's all we are. <laughs> We're just some colored cordial concerned citizens. However you want to word it. It all sounds the same. It's all we is. I ain't make nothing up right now, y'all. This is a hands up movement. <laughs> like, hey. Was y'all, did y'all catch Boosie ass up the day? That nigga said, hey, that nigga just tried to splatter in there like he was hood. He was like, hey, yeah, you know, I want everybody coming out to the Boosie badge. You know what I'm saying? First I want time you go see him standing there, though, right? 
Nah, I don't even fuck with him saying the motherfucker, nigga. I had my moment. I had my moment. I had my moment. Y'all all seen me go through my moment. Now it's fucking. You see what I'm saying? No, nah, the nigga stood there with the fitted hat and everything. Came on all cordial. Like the shit was cool. And he knew the shit wasn't cool because it was all in his shoulders. Like if you go watch the video, you, you could tell that he really didn't even want to make the video, y'all. And he probably ain't even did this the worst thing about it. You know damn well Boo when he got no vaccine. So you know I'm saying he he really just did the shit for some money. And you can tell, like, because if he wouldn't have got vaccinated, he he would he have a different smirk when he said it. He was he wasn't comfortable with himself. He, like, he knew in his heart, he's like, fuck. Damn, man, they ain't even look at me the same, but I need my motherfucking Instagram back. And I need to have this boosie bag so I can pay for these bills on this on this boosie estate. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. I'm telling you, they make it tough on you, y'all. I'm trying to tell you they made it tough on him. He was, I need everybody, if you want to come to the Boosie Bash, he like in his head, he like, God damn, man. If you want to come to the Boosie Bash, you know what I'm saying? Get the vaccine. Uh uh, he didn't know what to say to get my fuckers to get. He was like, uh uh, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. If you if you get the vaccine, I'll do something for you. He didn't even say what he was gonna do. Like, I'll do something for y'all at the Boosie Bash. Y'all come to the Boosie Bash. You know what I'm saying? Everybody you know what I'm saying? One. And that's how he left. I didn't want to say that, man. So that makes it more of a sucker move. You know, if you're going to promote it, at least go like Juvie. Juvie, Juvie the Smoothie. You see what I'm saying? His new name, Juvie the Smoothie. But at least he owned up to it. Good house, Negro. I used to fuck with Juvie. I like, man, Juvie's real. Good house, Negro, though. Y'all didn't see him on CNN. He's on that bitch. Confident, he just knew his sellout. Was. He knew his sellout wasn't bad for the community. Yeah, you know, they. How did you come up with the lyrics? Then they they selling it so hard. Them that shit was trash. That shit wasn't better than the original song. Y'all ain't pull them on CNN for the original song, but y'all want to pull them on for that. Then they want to. Then they want to go into it like he said some hard shit in the, in the song. So how did you come up with the lyrics? If y'all don't get. <laughs> If y'all don't get y'all smoothy ass out of here, they want him to look, look, look. The only reason they want him to elaborate about the lyrics is because the lyrics is talking about the fucking vaccine, y'all. They so, ooh, they think they slick. Oh, my God. Yikes. Just them, y'all. <laughs> so how did you come up with the lyrics? He too, he, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, me and Manny, you know what I'm saying? We really sat down and, you know, it really wasn't even me. You know, he shot out the endorsement company that made a movie. Like, like, it was really them. You know, they came up with the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And I really just wanted to do something for the community, you know, because, you know, you know me, I, I'm double vaccinated. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just felt like, <laughs> oh, oh, no. Did, 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 did this, did this, I'm watching it all go down. Like, did this house Negro just try to, Make niggas go get double vaxxed? Like, damn. Ooh. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm double vax. And then here they go. So, 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 and you're right, right. I just want, we want to let people know, you know, that, you know, this is coming from somebody that's double vaccinated. And you've been double vaccinated, right? And, and how do you feel? Oh, man, you know, I, I feel good, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel real good. You know, I, you know, you know, I, I ain't telling people to go do it. But I'm just saying, you know, you know, no, you know, go do, do your research. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, make the right decision. What the, what the fuck you think you saying when you saying do your research and make the right decision? What's the right decision, nigga? Don't try to talk to us in between the lines, nigga. Don't try to pimp us, nigga, out on CNN, nigga. What, what, nigga, what's the right, what you mean? Like, we some hoe. That's how a pimp talk to his hoe, you know what I'm saying? She like, so what you want me to go sell this pussy? He, no, 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 I don't want you to sell this pussy. I'm just saying, I want you to do your research, you know, you know, and, 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 and make the right decision, baby. <laughs> nigga, what you saying, nigga? Who I'm from Chicago, nigga? Who you think you're talking to, nigga? Like, I see through the nigga right away, nigga. Like, I know pimping when I see it, nigga. Try to pimp us, nigga. I don't see any of nigga talk. You know, you're, first off, you know, I'm double vaccinated. Nigga, you ain't double nothing, nigga. You wouldn't be up there talking like that smooth if you was, nigga. They paid you to make the song, nigga. And now you on there trying to say, go get double vax, nigga. And subliminally. You know what I'm saying? You, you're being creative with the house Negro niche now. You're using your own creativity. They ain't even ask you to do all that. That's your own creativity you applying to it, nigga. They can't do, they can't even be that creative if they wanted to. You the one in there with the soul, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's sold out good. He, yeah, you know, you know, I'm double vaxxed. I'm double vaxxed, you know, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, me and Manny, you know what I'm saying? You know, Manny did his thing. No, Manny didn't. That shit was trash. It was trash. I heard what Manny said. Manny did his thing when he made the beats back in the day, nigga. That shit was trash. 
If it wasn't trash, I wouldn't say it was trash, you know, because the original song wasn't trash. But come on, man, that shit was hot garbage. Tamale juice. You hear me? Dumpster juice. You feel me? Like, fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? He don't see it in. Cut off that nigga. All the songs this nigga that made that was hot, and he don't see it in for the. That, that's what made me make GNN after that. I'm like, oh, now they want to pull a knee. Okay, I'm making GNN then. Fuck that nigga. I'm going to pull the real niggas on. Nigga, we, ain't, we don't need no celebrity. Nigga, we the celebrities because we know what's going on in this bitch, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Y'all hear me, nigga? Nigga up there then sold out. Uh, sold, uh, sold his whole asshole. It, with his soul. Care what he say. They, they, they took him down. Ain't no way they ain't take him down. Mm-mm. They took him down with that, too. Ain't no way. You on CNN, you got clapped. They took you down. I already know what goes on in Hollywood. You can't fool me, Julie. They took you down, and they didn't even take Manny down. That's why he didn't get the interview. All Manny did was sell out and get the bag. Me asked, too. You the only motherfucker on CNN. Yeah, they took them nigga legs up. Good strokes. Trained you too. Already know. Other than that, you're not getting on. Come on, Juvie. Are you Juvie? Juvie. At this stage in your career, you don't even rap no more, nigga. That's how. That's what I mean by they so smart, they dumb. Y'all should even got a rapper that's already popping still. That'll look more. Why do you even listen to Juvie like that anyway? And when we was listening to Juvie, we fucked with him. But his legacy was good with me. If you ask me, I'm like, man, yeah, he said fuck them niggas. He said fuck Birdman, them niggas. He. He made good music. That nigga, I fuck with Juvie, BG. I fuck with them niggas. I'm like, she is shit. You know, I, I know in the beginning they probably sold out young, but in the end he said, fuck them niggas, walked away. I don't see him all on the TV like that. I know it's because he ain't sold out. I know what, how it go in Hollywood. I know when you don't hear from an artist no more that you like this. It's not. Listen, when you don't hear from an artist no more that you like all the one-hit wonders we always thought, they wasn't one-hit wonders, y'all. Then was the motherfuckers that was like, uh, this this shit about? Yeah, I'm good. I'll just be a one-hit wonder then. <laughs> I'll take my little money I made and a little fame I got. That's why I'm cool. You'll still remember me, though. Nigga, you, you still remember Wayne Wonder. No letting go, no holding back. We come too far not to make it. Yeah, you remember that still. That's what I'm saying. You thought he was a one-hit wonder. No, nigga, seem like. You want me to do what? Y'all doing what in here, nigga? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'll take my one song. I'm gone. I won't tell them other niggas shit, but I'm getting the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? You better not go out there and say nothing. All right, I ain't going to say nothing to the public, but I'm getting the fuck out of here, nigga. Let me out now. That's the, them niggas got out the car. Remember the train? Ju boys in the hood? Hey, doe. Doe, let me out, doe. That's them. <laughs> let me out, doe. Trey, you hear me? Nigga, let me out, dog. Yeah. I was going to ride with y'all to go slide on them niggas, but I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to miss Ricky, but let me out, dog. I know I'm like a bitch to y'all, but let me out. You know what I'm saying? I'll just be a bitch tonight because I know I don't really want to be on that type of time. I know I don't really want to be on that type of time, really. And you got to respect shit like that. And that's why they pulled over and let him out. I would let him out, too. Like, nigga, you ain't finna tell on me. Yeah, get your bitch ass out. Because for my eyes, I would have been like, man, that's some old hoe ass shit. What you mean, nigga? He just get out on Ricky. You hang with my little brother every day. And you acting like you finna go slide. You acting all tough in front of the house, nigga. You coming out with the blood on you, nigga. So, right, we put your little ass in the car. And the other day, you wouldn't even roll with us, nigga. We know you ain't built like that. But behind Ricky, we like, we know you about probably about to get busy like that, nigga. Because, you know, they wasn't hanging, wasn't hanging with dope. And then, nigga, we ride, nigga. And then we get halfway there, nigga. You all of a sudden, you change on me, nigga. Oh, where get your bitch ass out then, G? You know what I'm saying? We gonna handle that nigga when we get back to the hood, G. We gonna go stand on this business. We gonna get back, handle this nigga like you tripping, G. What's that about? What you mean? What you on? You trying to tell something? You feel me? What you on? Because you already know we on now. Nigga, as a matter of fact, I would have made his ass, nigga. You coming with us, nigga. No, nigga, no. You coming and you shooting first, nigga. We ain't finna be the only one shooting. You already know the plot now. Nigga, fuck, I'm finna let you out, for We gonna blow them down. We get caught later, nigga. Of who, you know what we was on. We in the middle of the sl We in the middle of the drill, G. We finna go do it, G. We got the pipes and everything. And you like, man, let me out. No, nigga, you coming. And when we get here, nigga, we all gonna shoot. And you gonna shoot too, nigga. Because I know niggas ain't gonna tell on theyself. You ain't gonna tell on yourself, nigga. Nah, you gonna shoot, nigga. Just in case you decide to tell some shit, nigga, your ass shot too, nigga. 
No, nah, you should have you should have thought about that shit when you when your daddy told you Trey give me the gun. Nigga should have gave his ass the gun. Nigga, you you didn't jab the in out. That was just me. I'm being real, but I still respect Trey angle though. Like man, you know what I'm saying? I ain't feeling that. Let me out. And I still respect what Doe did. Like him pulling over and let him out. And that's what the one hit wonders do in Hollywood. Like they don't be one hit wonders, y'all. All that talent they had, you think it just disappeared after a song? No, we was laughing at them. All the people that I always had one, like, what happened to that? All ass fell off. Niggas ain't fall off. Motherfuckers know what the fuck going on. I ain't, I ain't finna participate in that shit, y'all tripping. <laughs> you motherfuckers in lost y'all mind, this motherfucker. Nigga, I ain't shit. Cause see, when I do my lecture on YouTube tomorrow called The Ride Part 2, I'm gonna go into detail about what these motherfuckers be on. Boy, gonna fuck you up even more. You will see, like, motherfucker go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Telling you, like, you know what I'm saying? For real, like, and you got to remember, like, it's like Tom McDonald said in his song, man. Like, I just like that song, Clones, man. He say, they just, they don't got to kill you. They don't kill your foes, man. Just kill their gods and clone them. Then they control y'all through them. Remember, they put everybody in front of us, so we look up to all these politics. Economically, it's different lanes. They got every lane, they got somebody big as fucking that lane that we like kind of look to. Now, if they control these people, they control us. You know what I'm saying? Think, just think about it in warfare. Like, that's smart, man. Like, do you think it's easier to kill all y'all off? That's harder to do, or control y'all control you but how are they gonna control eight billion motherfuckers on the planet that's not easy to do but if we can get eight billion people to believe in 10 million companies and 1 million people that we control then we control them so you got to think you got people you got companies that have hundreds of millions of fans you got corporations that have hundreds of millions of followers and fans, you know. Um, you know, even though we got to drive them, BMW, um, Benzes, all that shit. It's like somebody got on me. They was like, "Why you? How you gonna say you pro black and he got a BMW in this video?" Because the BMW shows black power moves the best that can be shown right now in this physical, with something that you look at as super financial. You know what I'm saying? Like. It ain't like it ain't like I could go stand in front of the fucking pyramids in Egypt right now because I can't. If I could, I would. But I'm not finna take no motherfucking coronavirus test because you're not finna hit me with that shit. See what I'm saying? In the test, you gonna hit me with it in the test, nigga. I'm not slow, so I'm not gonna do that. I can't. You can't leave out the country without taking a test. So, so you know. But at the end of the day, whether I was making music or not. We got to drive all these brands. They're, whether it's Nissan, BMW, Benz, Bentley, Tesla, nigga, these are all brands that none of our ass control. So there's no difference between a motherfucker having a BMW in the video or a Honda in the video, nigga. Who control Honda? Who own Honda? Right. It don't matter if you got on fucking a shirt from Walmart, Fruit of the Loom, or you got on motherfucking a shirt from Gucci. Who owns Fruit of the Loom and who the fuck own Gucci? They own everything, nigga. It ain't nothing you can put on or eat that they don't fucking own. Period. Not a brand. Not a brand, bro. Not a brand, nigga. iPhone. Don't you use iPhone? Who you think own Apple? <laughs> you use Galaxy, whatever you use. Metro. These are brands. Who you think own them? These are corporations. So that's why when a motherfucker come and goofy shit like that, I'm like, okay, so what you want to walk around ass so naked? It don't drive no car, motherfucker. Because other than that, nigga, who was fucking like everything they own, everything ain't a brand you can name. Nigga, it don't matter how much you pay a nigga who owns the brand. That's what you got to realize. Look, when you go to this brand, you're like, okay, I'm going to go to Under Armour. They only charge $12, so I'm going to go with them. And then you be like, well, I'm going to go to Nike because they charge $100, so I'm going to go with them. And then some people be like, you know what? Well, I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with uh ball man because they charging two thousand dollars or Giuseppe because they want two thousand dollars. I'm I'm over two thousand dollars spender type of person, so they go with Giuseppe. But what y'all have to realize is, what if I told you that the same motherfuckers that own Under Armour own Nike, and the same motherfuckers that own Nike own Giuseppe? Then what? Because that's exactly what's going on. 
Then what? What if I told you that the same motherfuckers that own pure aqua and they got you thinking it's stole, hey, this regular water. This ain't this regular water. And the same motherfuckers that own plus alkaline, it comes in a different bottle and it's bigger. So it's packaging to fool you. This the same motherfucking water, nigga. Hold on. Nigga. Come on, man. Do it look different than you. Fuck what they told you. Fuck what the brand say. Use your own discernment. Let's use our own brain, our own greatness. Do, the, do it look different than you? You got motherfuckers that'll drink this and be like, no, nah, it tastes different. No, nigga. You told yourself it tastes different because they told you this was alkaline and they put it in a different bottle. Then this one, nigga. Pimp the fuck out you. Finesse the fuck out you. That's what it's called in Chicago where I'm from. Finesse your ass. Silly rabbit. They do the same thing, bro. They've been doing this shit forever, nigga. Listen, they do the same thing with candy, nigga. Look, y'all. Fuck that. What is it? What a box set. Where is it? What a box set from uh, last night. It's probably. Here we go. Check this out. Let me show y'all something. Okay. Listen, y'all. They've been doing this shit all our life. This mental magic, nigga. Call mental magic. These are marshmallow fruit loops. These are my daughter's favorite fruit loops. This is her favorite cereal. My youngest daughter. All right? This is her cereal. Now, everybody in the house get their own cereal. And I ate some of her cereal the other day, too. I was high. I ate some of this shit. I, like, I hadn't ate no fruit loops in a minute. Like, let me taste a bowl of this shit. That shit was smacking, too. They were like, them Zoe's. I'm like, man, I pay the bills in here. She'll be all right. We go buy some more. You feel me? <laughs> For real, sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Because they get on the kids and they get gangsta about that shit. No, I, this is my cereal. Like, as much as my cereal, you didn't know, man, you don't let me get some of your cereal. Look, girl, you better be cool right here. You know what I'm saying? But look, right, so, now, this is her little cereal. It's empty. It's empty. The box is gone. That's why I had to get it from trash. But they got a motherfucker thinking, somebody said they busting on my mama, they busting. Oh, look, I might damn near we didn't all have some of her. She, you hear our big sister and yep. okay, Zoe right there. I'm saying that, y'all. Zoe, we gonna buy you another box, okay? Okay. <laughs> God damn it, y'all. She didn't call down and call me. I was supposed to be talking about this in front of her, y'all. I didn't even see her come down here. She's so little. She didn't do. I just seen a little head over there. We look right. <laughs> so look, they got you thinking, though. You be like, damn. The red ones taste like strawberry. I know the purple ones taste like grape. Them yellow ones gotta be lemon. Them green ones gotta be lime. Them blue, them blue ones, them gotta be blueberry. Them gotta be blueberry. And all these marshmallows, she got different marshmallows. Oh, they gotta be watermelon. They gotta be cotton candy. They gotta be. That's what your mind go assume. And you like fruit loops. These are all the different fruit. You they got you really believe it. They putting all the different fruits in. Nigga, they didn't add it motherfucking flavoring. And all the cereal tastes the same. It's just sweet. But in your mind, you didn't lie to yourself because you see the different colors. So you like, I know all these motherfuckers taste. No, that's the same shit, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Like, they been doing this shit to us for a long time, y'all. We just don't think about the shit. And it's the same thing with water. Nigga, no difference. This one better, y'all. This one say alkaline, and this is the regular one. Why are we lying to ourselves, G? And you, they, they, because it's in a different bottle, you're going to more lie to yourself. Like, no, nah, this one tastes different. What water you ever taste that tastes different? Now, I know because the alkaline, I buy. You didn't lie to you, man. If they didn't, if we take the same water, right? I guarantee you, I can take <laughs> what I can take. I can take this out of water and fill this bitch up, nigga, and give it to a motherfucker. Don't tell him I filled it up. And be like, which one tastes different? This one or this one? And they gonna be like, this one. <laughs> yes, they are. They going. This one tastes a little better. Ooh, what this is? Uh, alkaline purified 9.5 pH level with electrolytes added for taste. Mm-hmm. 
Yup, I knew I tasted something. Oh, because they told your motherfucking ass what to think you taste. And this is magic. This is a spell. When they write on the front of what the fuck is tasting like, that's the spell, nigga. They telling you what to think. This is what you think it tastes like because they told you, nigga. <laughs> fuck out of here, nigga. We can do the test live, nigga. I will take to the streets of Atlanta, nigga. I will fill this motherfucker up right now and just pull up in the random streets of Atlanta, nigga, and ride around, nigga. Motherfuckers gonna be like this one, but it's filled with this. See, you know what I'm saying? The eyes is the easiest thing, food, man. Come on, bro. You, we used to do that shit in shorties, man. Bro, nigga, we didn't drunk all the Remy. But we broke, right? So we didn't fill the Remyo with apple juice. We didn't pull it up on shorty. All we really got is weed. But and we ain't gonna let her hit the Remy. Cause we know it's apple juice. <laughs> but we just wanna look like we got it like that today. You know what I'm saying? We didn't did it before. Bro, I didn't be a motherfuckers like this. I done had when I was just shorty 18, I drink. I done had females be like, we on our way to college parties at Northern Illinois, NIU. And I used to go to all the college parties at NIU, SIU, right? Like 17, and we used to be up in the mix, right? So we, we was in high school, though, but we still at the college parties. You know how it be. So we up there, NIU is jumping. SIU is jumping, right, it's, uh, in Illinois. So, bro, we got us some college chicks, right? You know, we in high school, so, you know, you trying to look cool. They, hey, bring us some Patron. We, not that we like, we like, what y'all drinking? Because they got their own crib. We in college. We met what y'all drinking. You know, we acting like we got it. Nigga ain't even got it like that. What y'all drinking, though? You know what I'm saying? We didn't spent the money we had to look like we got it. You see what I'm saying? We looking fresh as fuck. Now we don't got it. We had it, but we spent it. We got it on what we had, but now we look like we got it. So we, what y'all drinking? You know, we got to live up to it now. What y'all drinking? We living up to the image, right? We want some Patron. Oh, okay, cool. We going to bring some through. What? Nigga, we done went to the store. Got the Patron bottles. You hear me? Went to the store, got some Saveca. You hear me? Still good Patron. You hear me? Good, we coming through with two gallons of that shit. You hear me? They damn y'all came through with two of them. Well, yeah, you know it ain't nothing. Nigga, and they thinking they drinking Patron, Saveca still get you drunk, so they fucked up. And they just knew they was off Patron. No, we was drinking Vecchi. We was drinking Vecchi, dog. You thought, gotcha, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? You thought she was, no. You hear me? This, we, 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 you know, I'm just trying to say this shit ain't hard. We, we, we was doing that fooling up over liquor. Getting the clear liquor, putting the regular clear liquor, some bullshit. Amsterdam, we didn't hit up with the Amsterdam. You hear me? We didn't up with the Amsterdam. We didn't up fucking with the goddamn it, the Belvedere. What the fuck? I'm talking about they want some gray goose. Goose? Okay, we got it. We got the goose. We coming through with the goose. Get you loose, huh? Goose, get you loose. We got the goose. Get you loose. We coming through. You hear me? Be ready. We had your friends. I'm bringing my friends. We bringing good goose through. What? Belvie. Belvie. We didn't bell. Belvie their ass. You hear me? Belvie. You hear me? Ain't no. Please, Belvie. Thank you. There you go. Saved us money. <laughs> and in your mind, you think it's Patron. Gray Goose. So, hey, everybody wins. You hear me? We all been in and grinning tonight. You hear me? You happy? My pockets is too. You feel me? <laughs> Why do y'all be believing what y'all see in front of y'all? Like, y'all ain't never come from finesse and shit. Y'all got to, come on, man, just hood the street should have taught you that. Why y'all say we believe in these people, white people lying to y'all? Y'all be believing. It's alkaline. Okay. They ain't put some regular water in here, nigga. Motherfucking alkaline. Nigga, they ain't gonna get your ass. Nothing that's gonna help your ass, nigga. I don't know. Why you even in the organic section, for, nigga? They just upped the price and told you that shit was organic. All that shit got GMOs. 